Uh, let me click on Citra. Make sure you guys can hear that. Ah. Game audio is a tad loud. There we go. Some maze of life when I have the map already. All right, all right. <laughs> There. It's just barely touching the orange instead of being in it completely. Um. Did I have any requests? No. I don't have any. Oh, I don't have any. Please come again. Gotta throw the ball. And I have my party picked for now. Uh, I already have, actually. <laughs> that's the part that's funny, Feta. <laughs> I already have. In fact, we haven't even unlocked the first of this fight. Interestingly enough. Let me guess, this one's locked too? Hmm, this door won't open either. So that must mean... Yep, I'm sensing shadows past that one too. I think it's another of those ordeals like on the last floor. <laughs> Just like Michon and myself, the more ordeals of love we face, the fiercer our passion burns. Oh. I'm sorry, did you hurt something? Anymore. How soon is X ray? Uh, the 11th. I might call them and ask if we could push it up, but he's like. He can't be dropped off for morning. Like, he can't be held all day because he's. I'm nervous. <laughs> what? I threw it! Oh, yeah. sure the mic picked that up, didn't it? He did not like me trying to initiate tug of war with the boy. Oh, see, yeah, he let go of it. He tried to pull it. And then he was like, nah, I don't want to do that. You definitely did something to your leg, didn't you? Alright, I'm gonna throw it. We like this toy more than the ball, but I don't want to hurt him. I wish my chair didn't have arms. I usually don't mind it, but this time it's inconvenient. Sorry, Teddy. Is that so? Oh, Mitsuru has joined in on the threatened Teddy's existence whenever he opens his mouth. It's burning so fiercely. 
Perhaps it needs some ice to cool it. No! Please don't freeze me! <sighs> Enough of this foolishness. Let's proceed. Let me adjust my mic! Hi. See, he, he still wants to play, but he's not sure. Just don't drop it too far away from me. It should, and not dig into my ribs while I try to reach for it. Reach for the toys instead. <laughs> I'm actually, you know what? I'm gonna let uh, Fisk know because we we've been keeping an eye on him. <laughs> you knobhead! I don't think you should fear being frozen. <laughs> standing desk, I could adjust the desk position and then just stand. Then I wouldn't have to have a chair in the way. Alright, I'm gonna throw it. That's pretty low HP. Yeah, I think that's because of the type of, like, user that he is. Also, his status. Val just walked away from me. <laughs> yeah, being only, like, a level lower, and meanwhile, I guess is, like, the tank character. Oh boy, let's go. Moving floors. That floor is moving. Yeah, it is. I guess it'll carry you if you stand on it. Huh? Oh, like the ones at the really big train stations? I've seen them on TV before. Is that Do so? Do you not have any in your city? They're properly known as moving walkways. Mitsuru. Last I checked, you don't have any in your city either. <laughs> I always wanted to get on one of these. Hey, can we ride it? Please? Please? But wait, there's no knowing what could be waiting us ahead. Awaiting us up ahead. If we're going to ride, we should wait to do so until we're fully prepared. Is that clear? Get on it! <laughs> Whee! That was amazing! That was fast! A lot faster than I thought it would be. And it's useful, too! Uh, please let me apologize on behalf of our rowdy country mouse. No worries. Hmm. It can be useful depending on how we use it, but it's quite fast, and getting off midway is dangerous. We'll need to think about where it will take us and change over to the next one. Remember that, Satanaka. <sighs> Roger that! Yeah. For some reason, while we were discussing it, I was thinking about, uh... <laughs> I was reminded, rather, <laughs> of, um... The moving walkway in the, uh, factory in Q2 that led you straight to a hole in the floor.
can't go that way. I'll get this treasure Come on chest. Over here. Hey, isn't that a treasure box? A thing I can sell. forgot about the moving floor stage. Here I go. June escalators, is that what they're called? <sighs> nah, it's just a dead end. Oh. Where we drifted was dead end. That is the epitome of love a dead end. What? Huh? How does that describe our situation at all? I agree. I have no idea where you're coming from, Teddy. I can just tell. This place is filled with the ABCs of love. And what's the deal with these moving walkways? Hmm. Uh, um, they signify letting things take their own course. I you think? I see. You can get dead end by letting things take their own course. That makes sense in a way. No, Don't man. listen to him. The only thing he's letting take its own course is weird-ass thought patterns. That's it? Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. Enemies. The threat level Are we is still low. a level Switching where we can kill everything mode. just by rushing them? Kinda, yes. <laughs> the answer is yes. Please, come again! Well, that's that! Let us go! Shortcut to treasure! Hmm, that wall looks kind of... huh. Cool. Um, do you think there's the game something lag. strange about that wall? Let's look. I'm so used to hearing Shinji going like, oh, there's something up with that wall. Maybe we should check it out or something like that. If I, if I put him in the party later and he says exactly that, that'll be really Phew. sad on my part. <laughs> <sighs> going back and forth like this is wearing me out. It would be nice if we could take a break. There is some good news for you, Stray Lambs. The next selection room of destiny is five steps away. You consider whether it is best to come or not come, proceed or remain in place. Huh? That's pretty vague. Well, we can't stop now. Come on, let's keep going. Yes. Look out! No! We must endure this for now. <laughs> Wind dance. Let's keep attacking. I think for this next boss, I am actually going to need a healer. Which means I neither need... Exiting battle mode. Uh, the card thing to become a thing. So I can nab Medirama off of something and give it to Yosuke, or... <laughs> the way forward has been sealed. The stray lambs have arrived. Hello, on this new floor as well. But what does that mean? <laughs> Hold on, could you tell us what exactly you are? You have passed through the second question of death and emerged as heroes who still venture forth.
In honor of this, a special third question has been prepared. Steal yourselves before you answer. Oh well. Sorry, I have a juice. Ouch. It's not really a box. <laughs> it's no use. It doesn't seem interested in conversation. And it looks as though the only thing we can do is answer its questions and move forward. Now then, here is question number three. Third question! What's the number one topping for beef bowls? <laughs> oh, well, I think you can tell which one would get someone. Yes, it is exactly that. You have two minutes and additional voting is on, so. I believe in you guys. I mean, come on. Uh, who who the hell do you think would would <laughs> the second option be for? There is only one human being. polling ends, though, because the prediction will... <laughs> the second option is Fuka Kanji and Corporal! <laughs> I will set that up, but once the poll ends, because even though we'll probably come across uh, the second question first, the poll lasts ten minutes, the question doesn't, and mobile especially, if it overlays like that, it gets... It, some people can't actually cycle through the hole. <laughs> wow, you guys really want pickled ginger on your beef bowl. <laughs> I'm curious as to who will say anything. Absolutely sure. Or green onion. <laughs> okay. For sure. That stuff's a must. Its spiciness really brings out the flavor. What? Uh, what are you talking about? The best topping for beef bowls is protein. <sighs> You're the only one that uses it like that. The only one. Amazing. All right, let's start that prediction. One through 10 versus 11 through 20. You guys have 10 minutes? Go nuts. You were expecting Yosuke. So I've learned that the people who talk after the question is said is not always the people that it pinged, right? So, for the one where it's like, would we want somebody to be subtle, or to make a move boldly, Ken spoke? I don't think that got Ken. He just spoke because. Kind of like how, for the... Like, the, the ginger one was not only Junpei. Junpei was just the only one that it was for that spoke. That's kind of how it goes. Like, not everyone can talk, honest, honestly. Doesn't want to make it painfully obvious who you're getting. Though it does like to give you hints and a general idea. So yeah, Junpei is probably up there. Oh, there's a treasure box over but there. But he's not like the others aren't completely eliminated. It's like the uh, the one that nailed uh, having Shinji in 
wasn't the one with the movies about cute animals. It was that and another question specifically pertaining to cooking. The movie about cute animals would have gotten kanji too. It's just we got really lucky and the other question earlier or later on, if I recall, had something to do with cooking. That Shinjiro knew what he was doing. Oh, and that gave him an extra leg up over the other characters, the other male characters that it would have worked on. Because I think you can get Theo. I want to say Theo, there's a couple of questions would also get Theo, but you have to be like really, really vague and you can't get too many for a specific character else you don't it. Don't get it. Now, the final nail in the coffin for him. No! Frozen stone. Pretty good. This way. Oh. Uh. <laughs> there were three enemies. We get to move first. Hmm. Go, everyone. Don't really see the mother thing. If you get ten, you're gonna riot in front of Atlas headquarters. I don't want ten. Extermination. Either. Let's complete. Let's try to avoid that. I believe we have beaten our speed record. It's already a reference to Vuchiko. Yeah. So it's like... It's stuff like that. Like, I think each question gets at least three people. But no two questions have more than one person as an overlap. That wall up there looks kind of fishy. Let's check it out. Look over there! A power spot! Whereas some that can pop up are so painfully obviously for a very specific character that it's like, you get, when you get a question where the answer is just like, this is obviously the question for this character, like the protein answer, no one would have gotten that. Unless there are three you were doing enemies. female, but I don't think love. that question even Commencing pops up if you're going for a girl. Because in which Go then I'd say maybe Chie. <laughs> Because, uh, the pickled the ginger for spicy ended. probably would have gotten Reese, but kill. we're doing... We're, we're getting a, a board. My persona's getting so, strong! So, it doesn't matter. Well, you guys all know that Reese likes spicy stuff. Or at least she likes to make her food really spicy. <laughs> yes. Which guys are there are three enemies. The threat level is low. Extermination complete. An instant kill. It's a treasure box. Do you want to open it? Yes. FOEs. Right. Uh. Mm. This room appears to be unusually spacious. You all decided to take a short break here. Raychan, Raychan, I have something nice for you. Here you go. Poink. Teddy pulls out a candy from somewhere and gives it to Ray. Wow, it's a plum candy. Plums are known for being plump. I'm filled with tons of treasures. How about it, Ray-chan? Are you falling for me yet? I have other things, too, like coupons for Juness, that pin-up book from Yosuke's room, and delicious sweets! Please don't give that second-to-last one to Ray. You have sweets? Teddy, can you open up? I'm just going to peek, just to peek! Is it this? This red button? Do I have to press it? Like this? Ray's trying to press Teddy's red button with impressive force. Ah! <laughs> I'm under attack! Help! Is there a button used to open and close your body, Teddy? Oh my! Are you curious about me too, Archon? If dummy buttons were also built into you, then I infer that it must be an extremely important system. In that case, however, why were they placed in such an exposed area? In my case, all critical parts which manage my system are hidden where they are not easily accessed. 
heart? Ai-chan, are you? Wait. I am Aigis, the last number of the anti-shadow suppression weapons. <laughs> Wait, is it implied that until this moment, only Naoto realized that Aigis wasn't human? I am a humanoid robot. Oh, so you are human. No wonder I thought you were way too cute. That or it was just Teddy. As they say, you're too kind. It seems like I'm not really human either. So we have that in common. But you seem to be a human male inside your costume. This is just a disguise to avoid suspicion. I had one of those x-ray thingies, but it didn't show anything. So I'm searching for who I really am. <laughs> I see. That's why I get the sense we're two peas in a pod, Ai-chan. I just realized. Hold on. Am I crazy? This is just a disguise to avoid suspicion. That's why I get the sense we're two peas in a pod, Ai-chan. He does a slightly, like a very mildly different performance when he's mascot Teddy and when he's human Teddy. It's so subtle. Holy shit. I had one of those x-ray thingies, but it didn't show anything. So I'm searching for who I really am. It seems like I'm not really human either. So we have that in common. How long do you think it took him to make that much of a, of a subtle distinction? Because it, it's definitely not exactly the same. <laughs> that or I'm crazy. <laughs> yes. I feel as if I am sensing something from you too. Yeah, okay, so it's not just me. Yeah, Human Teddy has a, has a slightly very subtle, different performance than when he is Mascot Teddy. It can only be love. As a getting to know you gesture, would you like to press my button too? <laughs> like this? <laughs> she has great aim. The button was less durable than I anticipated. I will hold back on my firepower next time. That was nice. <laughs> Forward, march! I guess never change. Huh. It's that guy again. This one seems to be a different color. <laughs> mm -hmm. It must be fashionable. Huh? Y you think so? I mean, that thing's definitely gonna shoot at us, huh? Should we fire back? Wait, Whoa, wait, hold wait. on. That's an FOE. You don't want to pick a fight with that thing. Hmm. It looks like one we've seen already, but apparently it's a different type. Based on what I'm sensing, it's not moving from its spot. Looks like it does the same thing as the one on the last floor. Yeah. He doesn't, like, pitch it- he doesn't throw it as high, either. Like, it's- it's still the same vocal range, but it's, like, how he- is the way he inf the inflection of his voice goes is different. Let's be, let's be careful not to get shot at. This is the one where if you get hit, you move towards it. Careful! There's an FOE here! There are three and Luckily, they're that this one at is least is fairly is easy to job. avoid. Yeah, the way it's delivered is like... Attitude, it's so... No attitude, ah, right? ah. And it's for the same character, too. A he really didn't let need up, to do that. Rabbit. But he chose to. And that's 
really cool, actually. Hey, hey! That mystery thingy's back again! Look out! Three enemies are attacking. Huh? A surprise attack? <laughs> nice. spot. Yes, there is. Da -da -da. The battle has ended. Ah, uh, he just got the battle Lotus Juice, complete. I'm sorry. Well I'm too done. strong. Over here! How did Dave Winberg do his head voices for Vanilla P4? I'm curious about that myself. I remember it was like someone mentioned it in like a comparison of like you could tell that Chie does not sound very confident in vanilla. Meanwhile, Ted until he becomes flirtatious, I think his I think Wittenberg's like, I'm not really sure who I am. I'm somewhat like I've never interacted with people and I'm sort of scared of these three high schoolers that have appeared in my world. <laughs> is better, but human Ted and confident in himself Ted <laughs> are better performed as Regal. Sam Regal. Like, you can enjoy both, but one is stronger in one category and the other is stronger in the other. We already talked about this with how Shadow Ted's voice was never redubbed for Golden. Because I don't think Sam Regal trying to do a serious Teddy for Shadow Teddy would have worked the way Wittenberg did it. Like, I don't know how he'd manage that. And it was probably also a lot easier to just use the same original dialogue and then just pay Wittenberg for reusing the voice. Ouch! <sighs> ah, a dead end. I banged my head. Including incidents within Tartarus, Junpei-san has now run into a total of 27 dead ends! Huh. You're keeping track? What possible use could that be? She does sound a bit older, but the voice actress is also a little bit older, I thought. She just kind of sounded tired to me, if that makes sense. I didn't dislike it, but I definitely preferred Golden's portrayal of Chie more. And it's apparent considering... Other than Vanilla Persona 4, Chie has never had the first voice actors play her. Um, that it was sort of like a... Stepping into the career of voice acting, deciding it wasn't for her or that it wasn't going anywhere, and then pursuing other forms of, like, job ventures. Because it's, it's the only, it not only is it the only instance that she voices Chie in all of Persona 4 related content, it's also the only thing that voice actress has ever done, period. She's not credited as having played anyone before or after, so. It was kind of like a, let's do this, ah, it didn't really work out, not doing this anymore. And that's the only role that they ever played, but. Sometimes it, it'd, be, it'd be like that. All the data I collect is piped to the database on Fukasan's PC. That's right! I collect data on everyone and use it as reference for the next operation. That's not Fuka. That's amazing! You must be very good with computers. How did you learn to do that? Um, Oh, hey. I've always had an interest in them as long as I can remember. As I used them, I started getting curious about their internal workings, so I began taking them apart, too. Huh? Damn, that's impressive. You must be good with your hands. 
<laughs> I'm sure you're just as well versed in the womanly arts. We've got someone like that too. Huh? Why are you looking at me? <laughs> you think so? Oh, I should treat you to some homemade cooking next time. <laughs> oh, oh man. seriously? Unlike some ingrates I could name, I'll be looking forward to that. Why'd you look at me? I hope you'll like it. Uh... Should I tell him or... Don't. It'll lead to secondary casualties. <laughs> Let him fight his own battles. <laughs> Don't inform him that Fuka can't cook. Let him suffer on his own. <laughs> But I think it was just a self-preservation instinct from shield. Extermination no. complete. If you point it out, then she'll be sad. An instant kill. And then you'll get guilt tripped into eating it too, even though you know what's going to happen. Because <laughs> he's not like Fuka's not like Ryusei or Chie or Yukiko, where they're like, "Come on!" And then they get mad. And they're like aware it's bad, I think. Fuka is blissfully ignorant. Oh, there's a treasure box over there. And no one is willing to tell her that it's not good because they don't want to hurt her feelings. <laughs> soon unless you do something Ugh. okay let me get to the shortcut then huh this, this wall, wall seems, seems different. different yes because it's a shortcut there seems to be something up ahead let us get closer to examine it this appears to be a dead end <laughs> yeah, that's how she does it. She's like, she won't hurt you or beat you up, but she will be kind of petty about it for a little bit. <laughs> this appears to be a dead end. Yukari is looking ahead puzzled. Hmm? That's so suspicious. I don't know, but this place, doesn't it feel like there's something out of place here? Out of place in this place? Ugh. No! Yeah, out of place in this place. Hey, I'm not trying to make some kind of work joke or anything. If I it remember just correctly. It feels kind of different from the other areas, right? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but something just feels strange. Well, anyway. If you think something's not quite right, you shouldn't ignore it. My dad once felt something off in his hip. Hmm? Huh? What is it? Okay. But you know. But he decided to ignore it and went to work that day anyway. My family runs a store. Like, a superstore. Hmm. Anyway, he was always carrying heavy stuff, so just what you'd expect happened. Are you done talking? Crap! Uh, yeah, sorry. Wonder what it is. What's causing this? Also, damn, Yukari, why so savage? <sighs> so, uh... Is she always getting ticked off about stuff? 
Just what is it that Yukari finds troubling about this place? Perhaps you should make a note on your map. Investigator room. She mistook Yosuke for two five for a second. <laughs> oh. Okay, how much inventory space am I? 54 out of 60. Do I have enough to do a power spot? The path ahead appears to still be long and arduous. You must impulsively, methodically, pull the threads of destiny toward you. All right! Someone say threads? Just leave it to me! Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's hurry up and get this over with. Now then, here is question number four. What is the primary characteristic of a cute girl? This is, uh, the, do you want Teddy? <laughs> um, Paul? Paul? Uh oh. Let me refresh my page. <laughs> Okay, there we go. New pole. It didn't let me hit new pool, pole for some reason. No, should be fine. I just refreshed the page. Remember, we're getting a mail. This is why I said this is probably the here Teddy question. to you too, KBB. Because, <laughs> yeah, we're locked into getting a dude. So, this is a weird question, and then I read the third option, and I'm like, ah, yes, Teddy. <laughs> I don't think Teddy's winning this. <laughs> It'd been funny if we subtly got Teddy, but I think if we don't choose this, he's basically locked out of the winnings. Teddy wants himself in a girl. <laughs> Honestly, if there was a female character that was like Teddy, they'd probably get along really well. <laughs> Incredibly well. But I think Lovely Smile is winning. <laughs> Female Teddy and next spin-off. What a dumpster fire that would be. They'd be happy with each other, and I feel like the Persona forecast by extension would just be like, I'm happy for them. But my god. <laughs> It's super close, yes, with 1% for bear pun. Lovely smile. Let's go. Are you absolutely sure? Hmm. I hear that line so often that it doesn't even really feel like it doesn't even sound like praise anymore. Mm-hmm. I think I know what you mean. That didn't do anything for me just now. <sighs> Fascinating insight into the female psyche. 
I mean, it is an exhausted line. They're not wrong. Oh. I would really hate it if somebody approached me for any reason, for flirtatious reasons. But especially if they approach, like, I really like your smile, and it's like, thanks, everyone has one. <laughs> <laughs> I have detected a loud sound. It originated north northeast from here. But sometimes it's true. Sometimes it is true, but it's just like it's used just in a pickup line sense. That's just kind of like. Ugh. <laughs> sometimes a person has a great smile. Yeah, but. I don't know. I know different different things for different people for like compliments and stuff, but I feel like people like to be complimented on a personality level rather than on an appearance level. I think that hits a bit better. <laughs> and I don't even like care. <laughs> people like both. Yes. They're yeah, it's just, I see where Yukari and Yukiko are coming from, because it's just such an overused line, especially for people who approach women and ladies who have never met them before, and it's just like, wow. I still love the one that my, uh, my high school science teacher told me about. It was her, her friends called her this all throughout college. I'm repeating it just because it doesn't reveal her name at all. It's just really funny. She was in college and she was at a party and a guy approached her and was like, uh, are you the stars? Because I, I could see the twinkle in your eye from across the room. And it was like, holy shit, that's so fucking bad. Like, don't hurt yourself too hard with that line. It's, it was just like... <laughs> no shot someone said that. It's apparently real. And I was like, oh god. <laughs> and it's just like... <laughs> Bad pickup lines. Don't use them. There are there's a reason why they're called bad. Are you the stars because I have an astronomy test and I want help from a primary source? See, that's a better one because that's funny. I've heard more interesting. Yeah, there, there are some also very crude ones, but that one was like... Uh, you've never even met the person, and that's what you started with. Ouch. <laughs> so near the stairs where we- uh, so near the stairs we came from, probably another door is ready to be open. Uh, Shin-chan, are you mad? Huh? Huh? I ain't mad. But your voice is scary, and so is your face! Ray! <laughs> oh. Sorry. I'm always like this. Oh god, that, that's a horrible. Ugh. Ain't mad or nothing, so don't worry about it. And stop calling me Shinchan. <laughs> oh, okay, thanks, Shinchan. <sighs> You're not gonna stop, are you? Anyway, so let's hurry up and go. <laughs> he tried once and it gave up immediately. <laughs> Do you think there's something strange about that wall? There are three enemies. We oh. need to move first. Let's keep attacking. Thank you. Commencing annihilation. Who raised that even? Now what you doing? The battle has ended. Ah. Uh, move to An battle. instant kill. For Darko Convalescence. <laughs> yes. No! Oh, 
Oh, perfect. Here I come! We may be able to break through the wall ahead. Open fire. Okay. Got the shortcuts. I'm going back to the entrance. Where is my... Who's at the top? You save. And then I'm gonna pause this. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that break. All right. We have things to sell in the workshop. Ha! Huh. Welcome. Item. <laughs> it's fine. Well, okay, what strolls do we have? Da, 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 Assault da, shot. Da, 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 Locate the different colored heart. Da, 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 Easy. It seems as though I have heard a rumor that in one of the areas of the group day cafe, one heart is a different color from the rest. I would like you to investigate the truth behind this rumor. If you happen to find it, please come report to me. Hello, Jeppo. L.A. Noir. Uh, I've seen bits and pieces of it, and I've definitely seen lots of games inspired by the style. Ooh, actually, it's not L.A. Noir, but it did remind me of this. Um, I don't know how many people are familiar with it. I did not know it existed before a few days ago, but if anyone had ever heard of the early DeviantArt webcomic called Lackadaisy. They recently, like a few weeks ago now, released a pilot for like an animated series version of it, and it's really good. <laughs> so if you've seen Lackadaisy, or read Lackadaisy, or if you haven't, I still implore you, please, that's a really good pilot. I, I actually like it. It's up on YouTube. You'll find it really easily. If you look it up, black a daisy, like kind of spelt exactly the same. It's an animated. I guess the web comic was about the height of the, of prohibition, specifically in I want to say it's Chicago, and all the characters are anthropomorphic cats. <laughs> But it's pretty cool. I really liked it. I was surprised at how much I liked it. Especially for something that I've never, like, seen before. Cats don't drink. <laughs> this quest will have they shouldn't, at least. Yeah, no, they, they shouldn't. But... But it was cool! I like this. You see Yukari and Naoto talking together. Hello! Oh, Zikun! How are you? You've come at just the right time. Yukari-san was just telling me about a strange area within the group date cafe. Thank you. Is it possible that this could be a vital clue? Or, it is possible that this could be a vital clue for us. Yukari-san, as you were saying... What? Uh, hang on! This is way too much pressure on me. It might not be that helpful. What? Stop it! You're making me nervous! Please, Please calm down. Calm you, down. <laughs> you can take your time telling us. Hmm. Uh, okay. Hmm, I just remember I'm not feeling sure. that one area of the group date cafe was off. 
Like, <gasps> like was nothing I know. that should have been there, but wasn't. That's rather vague. I would like to gather some more information on this. You remember that Elizabeth had a request asking you to find an area that had a different colored heart. You try asking the two of them about this. What? Uh, that's it! That's what I felt was off. There was a different colored heart there. Of course. I see. So that was the case. That's what I was saying. It wasn't anything important. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I guess I was jumping the gun on this one. But it would appear you have the solution to that request now. You remember where this area is? It was in the group date cafe on the second floor. Near one of those rooms that ask you questions? Hmm. I think I can give you an exact location. If we get close, I can show you. If you're going to fulfill this request, can you take me with you? I'll show you the way if you do. Oh, sorry. This ended up having nothing to do with the mystery behind this world, Naoto-kun. It's not a problem. We'll receive a reward for completing the request, and I'm sure it's good experience. Hooray! Oh, I didn't mean to- I meant to say just hooray. Are you serious? Really? Well, that's good. Okay, I told you my part. Now it's your turn. You have to tell me who you have a crush on now, Token. Huh? Crush? I deduce that. What are you Stop even making saying? deductions Please like take... that. Stares pointedly at us. I deduce that. Shush. Uh. Yeah, this is our squad. We will arrange it to include. Sorry. Three people weak to electricity, let's go! <laughs> Into the labyrinth. If I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure the heart I the request asked you to find is on this floor near the Near a question room. Why don't we try walking around a bit? Yeah, it had a blue heart instead of a pink one. It's like... Come on over here! This way. Oh. oh, it has to be somewhere around here. This has to be the place with that different colored heart. Take a careful look around this place. Oh, hey! Oh, a rare enemy! Let us be cautious. I have missed! Jumpy! Oh, it ran away! I have to ask, when you said cats don't drink, they escaped. Was, you, was it just you saying that? Or was you or was you making a pun off of, or I guess a play on words from the movie Cats Don't Dance? <laughs> Because I also keep thinking about that movie sometimes. <laughs> huh. And what you said, well, other than one word, was basically the title of the movie. Ah, okay. So it was just me then. <laughs> I don't know why I could have just ignored it, but it's whatever. <laughs> when I see it now, it's so obvious it's a different color. I just didn't realize it when I first saw it. Actually, I wonder why this is the only place with a different color. But whatever, enough of this. I'm not going to let it bother me anymore. You've located the different colored heart that Elizabeth asked you to find. <laughs> Was you darn a reference to that one? No, no, you're good. <laughs> I want, to, I want to watch that movie. Like, in full. I've only ever seen, like, bits and pieces. I maybe once watched it as a small child, but clearly I do not remember the whole movie.
Welcome. A job well done. You got bored with access to archive? Darn. Ooh, God Eater 2. I've heard good things about the God Eater series. None of the an Attack on Titan hunting games. You have completed the request. Well done. Uh, why is that one different? I am not aware of the details. However, I would assume that the heart is empowered with some sort of good luck. By finding the different colored hearts, you can find your destined true love. Perhaps. I will be looking forward to seeing who your destined true love is. This will now be then, your reward. Here is your reward. Please accept it if you will. Thanks. Hmm. Well, it may just be a personal thing. I know that uh, Tales of Arise is art style, or at least the model style is based off of. I know, like, uh, the person who directed it, like, the, you know, head designer, was part of. God Eater, the God Eater series, so they look really similar. <laughs> but I've never actually personally played a God Eater game myself. I don't need stuff. Not surprised, honestly. <laughs> Huh. I don't think I need a salt shot. So I will sell that. Oh, those sell for quite a bit. I guess if I find one that I don't need, not a bad idea to sell them in the workshop. Because, you know, I have end game personas. I don't want to put early game skill cards on them. You enjoyed God Eater 1 until the difficulty spike. Yeah. Difficulty spikes in games. Hmm. Ah, that sound we heard. I wonder if it was uh, letting us know we can open this door now. Do you think shadows will attack us again like that door on the first floor? Hmm. It's a very likely possibility. Fuga, tell us what's beyond this door. Of course, there do seem to be shadows waiting beyond it. Please be careful. She said it herself. I don't need to repeat it. Let's go! One enemy. The enemy oh. has the advantage. It's the king. Huh? A surprise attack? The gorgeous king. I believe that enemy is weak to fire. It also takes 300 to 400 damage per hit. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> We won! Okay, let's keep this up. Yes, the Archeron Seeker. Hell yeah! All right, we won. <laughs> Excellent leadership, Beastie. Entrusting authority to you was the right decision. Let's keep this up and move onward. Okay. I'm going on ahead. Presence of Shadows has abated slightly. You all decide to take a short break here. Shinjiro is petting Koromaru off to one side. Ah, who's a good boy, Koro-chan? <laughs> you should leave them be. C can I join in? Well, uh, how long have you been there? I, I want to pet his fluffy fur too. Sounds like he's not in the mood. That hurts deep. <laughs> I saw the whole thing! Whoa! How dare you try and lay your hands on some nobody dog when you have me! Don't make it sound weird. I mean, you don't let me pet you either. Well, I've got hip girls to pet me after all. 
Ah, Chie Chan, Yuki Chan. I'm sorry, that was really cute. <laughs> he's just, he's like, you're doing a really good job, Koro Chan. <laughs> hey, it's Koro Chan. Oh, you're so fluffy. What? Hey, that ain't how we acted when I wanted to do it. I mean, Yuki Ko would slap you for calling her him. <laughs> You're tickling me, Masamune. That's not his name. You can stop trying to give him a general's name. Hey, aren't you all too engrossed in some ordinary dog? He's just some mutt. Not like he mutters at all. <laughs> yeah, well, you're just some ordinary bear costume. <laughs> Kuro-chan's amazing. I heard that he kept protecting his owner's shrine even after he passed away. That's pretty cool. So there really are loyal dogs like that, huh? I wait for Yosuke in front of Juness every day, too, you know. That's so you can pester him for snacks. Ugh, don't act like you're on Koro-chan's level. <laughs> Teddy is a reliable combatant. We should Says introduce Koro him to the fox. <gasps> oh? Looks like Koromaru understands me pretty well for a dog. That's very mature of you to consider someone else's feelings, even at a time like this, Nobunaga. Can you at least settle on one name? And Teddy, you should stop just munching on ice cream and follow Koro-chan's example. The entire thing started because the, funny about that wall. Because the, the people from Persona 4 got Shinjiro petting the dog. Yes. It's the stairs. <laughs> Let's hurry up and take them. Ah, yes. This is when the floor gets weird. Hmm? Hmm? This floor looks a little different. <laughs> Do you think we're any closer to our destined partner? I wonder where the next room of destiny is. There is some more good news for you, Stray Lambs. The room that you are searching for is... quite a distance from here. You can give it your all, or you might wish not to. But if you don't, there is a possibility that danger might fall upon you. Or not. <sighs> so that means there's danger ahead, right? Huh? Oh no! Please Everyone, be careful. please be careful. There's a large number of FOEs on this floor. Hmm. Something feels off about this, though. They're not moving at all, or even changing position. This looks kind of suspicious. Stay on your toes. This is Persona, not Ken. I think you've seen most of this floor. You should have it down. But yeah, the third floor is when it kind of warps. Like, late game talk here. Um... We, we've mentioned this, that how, like, while they did warp to kind of shape the environments that the Persona 4 cast specifically are used to, these still originate from Ray's psyche. So when you get to this floor, you can kind of see her feelings on some stuff. Hold on a sec. What? What's up, Yosuke? Mm. Is it just me, or do you guys sense this really heated gaze? It's probably coming from that thing. Why are we here? Hmm. It's because there is a treasure that is locked in the depths of the labyrinth that will help Zen recover his memories, and should we get all four, we currently only have one, Zen should remember everything, and we may find a way out of here. Because what we do know is that we're trapped here, we can't leave, there are four labyrinths, each with an article that also contains a portion, like an item that also contains some of Zen's memories, and that someone stole Zen and Ray's memories. And so trying to get out and 
This is the only thing we can think of that will lead us to that solution, seeing as there's nothing else we can do. The second labyrinth is themed off of a group date cafe. At least that's what it's called. Is Persona Q long? Fairly. Uh, my playthrough ended at like 87 hours, but also I lingered around and did a bunch of extra shit, and my end save is not going to reflect a one playthrough, because one, this is New Game Plus, and two, New Game Plus files save your first cycle save time data. So it's it says like 97 or something hours now, but it's really not. We're not that far in the game. It's just this is New Game Plus. An FOE. And it doesn't seem like any we've encountered so far. Hmm. This one, Ruga and Rise we're talking about, because, yeah, it ain't moving around. The path is split in two. We should take the branch that most piques our interest. Uh, this one. Huh? What's that over there? to be a dead end. <laughs> Oromaru is excited. Huh? Oh, what's gotten into him all of a sudden? Clarochan's acting different than usual. Oromaru is running around restlessly. Let Oromaru be. Oromaru began digging at the small space between the walls with his front paws. You decide to wait and see what happens. Kormaro came back with a battle leotard in his mouth. <laughs> Great! Well done. <laughs> You're good. So, he found treasure for us, like in that old fable. I wouldn't expect any less from such a great dog. <laughs> Kormaro seems happy. You decide to return to your investigation. Nice. What the? Holy crap! It came towards us! Dude, let's get out of here! Huh? It's not coming after us? Hmm. Perhaps it only pursues us under certain conditions which aren't being met here. Huh. Talk about having guts. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I like it. Let's beat this thing and push through. You! How many times must I repeat myself, Akihiko? This isn't training, honestly. If we use the enemy's habits to our advantage, we can get by without fighting. Surely it's movement. Study its movements well. Yes, okay. I don't know why I said surely, but I think I know. Aha! I backed up too far. Hmm. I got new fight. There are three enemies. The threat level is low. I bet I could kill That's him because I don't think right? anything knows Diorahan until Evil Spirit Club. <laughs> no way. That's a wrap. Well, that. Aha! You have to look at it. Look, there's an FOE. I did it again. I'm going on ahead. I'm detecting signals from an FOE. Oh, I Please, wasn't close be enough. Be careful. That's what happened. We can make progress without having to kill things on Kiko. And he's like, but there are three enemies. But I like the it when I get to do that. Sitting stand. Is she in charge? And that's a wrap. Why can't 
time in Tsuru. <laughs> because you might not win. <laughs> also, you're not in the party, so it doesn't matter. Well, that's that. Look, look, a level up. Okay, Amanu Uzume is done. Air from the along the sidelines. <laughs> oh, there's a treasure box over there. Storm ring. Ah, yes, this. Ugh. Oh, over there. There's an FOE. Question rooms first. Oh, we gotta mark this down on the map, right? Kanji, when did you get to be such a grown up? Huh? What? Uh... Kanji san, you don't have to push yourself, you know? You got people already who can be the smart one. What's that, punk? What are you making fun of me for? You keep mouthing off. You're in, you're in for some you know what. Not to mention uh, some stuff too awful to mention. Now, he's back to his usual self. If I were to deduce, like Nato-san, I would guess that you failed to find the right word and tried to cover! Damn it! You little... Who even cares? Let's note this place on the map and go to... And go a different way, damn it! I will be going on ahead. Oh, hey, that room up by the stairs. That's uh, a final uh, Elizabeth room. And the enemy is rare. That was, we can't it play was, this was Junpei was kind of like I missed. <laughs> rude of I guess to not offer wor op Target op optional lost. words. Yeah. Come on, I guess. Be a bro. Junpei being a dick is normal, but. Huh? Target lost. The enemy escaped. Oh, well, I like killed one of them. Too bad. But we'll get another chance. Isn't that shining thing over there a I don't spot? think he meant anything by it, but at the same time, he huh? did he did word There's it quite really. Strange about that wall over there. All right, next question. The time may be nigh for the stray lambs to grow up to stray sheep. But you cannot relax. Your foes and the questions of destiny become fierce with each encounter. Keep that in mind. <laughs> yes, sir. I don't think it cares if you talk back to it. Presenting question, question number, number five. five. <laughs> All together now. <gasps> Persona 3 character aimed questions. The last one was clearly like there was an answer that was for Teddy, but that second option is 100% Junpei. Weird. Okay. 
like, that's actually just a quote that he says at some point in the game. <laughs> additional points for this one. <laughs> but it seems people are using them anyway. <laughs> I mean, you have so many to burn, right? Teddy iced. <laughs> I don't know uh, what it is. I just get the feeling that the that the poll is is let's have fun. I wish I had the thing that puts polls on the screen. YouTube would be better like informed as to me just sitting here as opposed to me just sitting here. But I I don't have it set up. Are you absolutely sure? <laughs> I agree. Let's do that. Woohoo! <sighs> this is really going to contribute to finding one's destined partner. I'm really curious as to who we got now, actually. Hold on. Now don't you hate fun? <laughs> Why did you show up? <laughs> I'm detecting signals from an FOE. Please, be careful. Clever. Got him to move. There seems to be something up ahead. This Let us get closer to the examine it. The doll is seated it. on a chair here. It has a necklace with a blue stone hanging from its neck. Hmm. This doll looks lonely somehow. Yeah. <sighs> hey, the doll's holding a box. <laughs> what do you think's inside? small cut of meat or a big slab uh, um uh, i don't think it'd be meat at all ignore her she just has a powerful appetite oh okay it doesn't seem like this box will open though mm. oh then this is probably another one of those dead ends come on kenkun let's go y yeah it appears to have noticed something about the doll it may be best to know this location down on the map do. I don't care if it's destiny or not. One of these questions gonna end. Oh, hey, the scripted hangout. There, hey. there. Why don't you use this opportunity to learn about how girls think, akihiko -san? It might help you find your destined partner, just like me and Chitorita. <laughs> She is not one of these. Destined partner, huh? Even this Junpei here found his. So there really might be one for you somewhere in the world. Yes, spring did indeed come. Even for this Junpei-san. Stop calling me this Junpei. I mean, there are multiple out there. Would that Junpei be okay? I forget that Yukari voices et uh, Yukari's voice actress also voices Etna sometimes, and then she says lines like that as Yukari, and I'm like, ooh, I, I can hear the snark. <laughs> How low am I on your personal totem pole? I'm gonna invoke the Have Pity Ordinance. A thesaurus. Have Pity Ordinance? Junpei-san has taught me about this before. It was issued in 1685, forbidding anyone from treating Junpei-san lower than a grasshopper. In 1685? Is that so? How much better than a grasshopper? A water flea? <laughs> oh no! How does that make sense in the hierarchy? <laughs> So Junpei's better than a grasshopper, but lower than a water flea. 
That's gonna be hard to get straight. No, I want to be treated like a person! An actual human being! Anyway, Junpei is the only one hyped up about this destiny thing. Just look at Naoto. He's a guy too, and he's keeping us cool. Huh? Um, I'm... What the hell are you talking about, Aki? She's a girl. Oh, yes, this. Of course, I had a feeling it was gonna... It was gonna pop up again, because I remember freaking out just a little bit because Naoto... Naoto does a really good job. That's what we'll say. I mean, the entire portion until her dungeon, the forecast does not know. But for some reason, Shinjiro can just tell. <laughs> a girl? But you're wearing a guy's uniform. I'm free to choose to wear whatever I want. Wait, you're seriously a girl? Oh, is Nato an alias? It's my real name. It's not only a boy's name, I'll have you know. Male or female is irrelevant in battle. The same goes for clothing. Such distinctions are antiquated. Hell yeah. You tell him, Mitsuru. That's right. I think the same thing. Oh no, that wasn't what I was getting at. But I, I mean, it, did you figure it out? Hmm. Dude, there's no way. Man, you guys had a hell of a trump card lurking on your team. <laughs> he just said, mm, as in, like, uh, it, that's such a non-answer. Like, maybe. I'm not telling you, though. <laughs> now cakes, huh? Mm, and then he I starts see. calling her that. Now cakes? You know, I'm surprised you could tell, Shinjiro-san. Huh? You can tell just by looking at her. I couldn't. Longest time, I had no damn idea. Uh, are you trying to cheer me up? Can I pet you? It seems he does not wish to receive pets. Didn't have to ram it home. And then I immediately got into the fight. <laughs> We have the first move. Now's our chance. Damn. Let us be precious. Nice crit. Damn oh my it. god. Huh? Target lost. But yeah. What it the? was like, why out of everyone? The only Shinjiro Stop. <laughs> Seriously? I messed up. What's her maid's name? Oh, I don't remember. Extermination complete. The one who trolled me through with that outfit. Battle complete. Oh god, I know what well she looks done. like, obviously. I remember that. She's one of the most observant people in Persona 3. Yeah. I've... Okay, I'll word it like this. I think that if it were, like, when Nauta was actually genuinely trying to hide her gender identity... So that way she would be treated more seriously in her workplace. There's a chance, there's a high likelihood that Shinjiro wouldn't. The, uh... Audio is gone? Let's fix that, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> you want to say it starts with K? It might. I don't remember. I think the I think what the thing is 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 that I feel like Naoto in this stage of the game is comfortable with herself in the sense of that she's not hiding the fact that she's a girl. She just thinks it is she is just more comfortable wearing the clothes that she was wearing before. She doesn't have to completely change her wardrobe to project that she's comfortable with her gender identity. That's, that's how I perceive that. She doesn't feel like she has to hide it. And she didn't intend to hide it. 
it's just she's so used to her group of people knowing that it didn't feel necessary to bring up. So she was surprised when <laughs> Akihiko was like, Now it's just a guy and he doesn't care. FOE confirmed. She's like, um, actually. I have confirmed the presence of a treasure box. suit. I mean, she pulls it off. It's the fur coat combined with it that's just sort of like a little ridiculous to me. You are indeed skilled. Great job, leader. Take a rest. Oh hey, GA leveled up. Not that that means anything. <laughs> There's a cave up. Oh, right. over there. There's an FOE! Maid Persona Arena just gives you Becky and Maid outfits, of course. There's a doll sitting on the chair here. It has a necklace with a red stone hanging from its neck. We came across a similar doll earlier, didn't we? Hmm. Huh? Really? I remember it because that one looked lonely too. That one had a necklace with a blue stone on, so maybe these two were originally a set. Might have gotten separated for some reason. If that's true, then I can't ignore it. <laughs> Let's help reunite them! Huh? Huh? Really? Sure! <laughs> Thank you so much! You've got a kind heart, Kenkun. Oh no. You picked the doll wearing the necklace with the red stone. You should take it to where its other half is waiting. that wall. Let's look. Oh, I haven't gone through that shortcut yet. Couldn't go there. I can't get there. Well, I can go. Look! There's an FOE! You return the doll. You return to the doll you found earlier. Let's try putting that doll right next to it. <laughs> yeah! You placed the doll you brought next to the seated doll. Necklaces on the dolls begin to glow. What? What's going on? If this is a ghost or something spooky, I'm out of here. Don't <laughs> worry, Chie. It's just a paranormal phenomenon. What that counts as something spooky? Everyone, oh, look. look, everyone. The lid on of the unopenable box that the doll was holding is now open. Hmm. I wonder if it's okay to take this. Oh, look at the dolls' faces. The dolls look strangely happy. Maybe them thing. Tain Soma Droplet Hill, yeah! <laughs> I hope you do get along. Make sure you don't get separated again. The dolls are seated happily next to each other. You should proceed onward. That was cute. Ken. There are three enemies. The threat level is low. I will follow my leader's orders. <laughs> I can't get more character in a spin off than in the main game. <laughs> How'd I do? I guess it's so close to leveling up. My persona's getting stronger. Yeah. <laughs> 
Haru and Strikers. Yep. There are three enemies. The threat level is low. Give me your orders. I'll do it. Kind of. But the important part is that while we definitely that's call right. these spin-offs. Well, that's that. As of, yeah, it's like, that's kind of what I would count, constitute as being a spin-off. Because everything but three and five dancing are canon. Meaning, like, it's still spin-off. But it's canon. <laughs> like, Whoa, would it even really be called a spin-off? Should it even really be called such? If we're gonna call Arena and Arena Ultimax spin-offs, then Strikers is a spin-off. Oh no, I need to go further than that. That's far enough. That's just kind of how it goes. Like, I wouldn't call it a sequel unless it was... It opened! You know. The same as there a mainline There is a power Persona spot game. nearby. Let us investigate the area. Mechanically, in every aspect. There are lots of similar things, like the fusion system and whatnot, but it is a very different play style. I need to sneeze. Watch out for that FOE! Huh? I think there's something funny going on with that wall up ahead. Thank you. No ordinary wall. I suggest we investigate. Ah. There are three enemies. The threat level is low. Back here. And dust. But also, it's just like. Oh, spring. There are so many wildflowers. Please, everywhere. So much pollen. Ah, Man, I, I watered my lemon one. tree today, and it's absolutely covered in flowers, and I'm like, this is nice. <laughs> I'm glad you're doing well. And then I went inside, and I had to blow my nose. <laughs> All right, it's, like, it's a treasure it. box. <laughs> hey, hey, that mystery thingy's back again. Hmm, that wall looks kind of... Huh. Yes. Look at that! Look, there are three FOEs here. Hmm. If we lure them towards us with that plan in mind, we may end up locking ourselves in. Be sure to take caution, Beastie. Uh, just walk around without making eye contact with any of them. Watch out for that FOE! spot nearby. Let us investigate the area. It is a treasure box. Do you wish Electro that we shoes. open it? Another Shall power I spot. It? Yes. I suggest that we search this area. Yeah. Uh -huh. There are two stuffed dolls next to each other on the ground. Huh? There's some lame stuffed dolls here. Hmm. Look at them, lined up all nice. What do these dolls think they are? Couples? <sighs> uh, you're not much different with the costume on. That's exactly my point! Aren't rare costumes a hit with the girls, though? Hmm. 
Hmm. This one doesn't count. His bubbling is the whole problem here. <laughs> Where it only moves with you when you move, yes. Anyway, I am bear seeing a bunch of dolls given such blessings. Don't you agree, Sensei? I wish them happiness. Hmm. I shouldn't have asked Sensei. He's too popular to understand. Something fell from the doll's hand. It seems to be a small rolled up letter. That's strange. Let's see. It says... Thank you. I hope you find your destined partner soon, too. Ah! <laughs> the sudden rush of endorphins! I'm getting a dangerous urge to destroy something! In the other doll's hand is a snuff soul. Thank you. Huh. Sensei, we should get away from this place quick. You decide to return to your investigation. Nice. Savior and the of the day. Watch out for that FOE! There are three enemies. The threat level is low. Leave it to me. I'll take this. Savior and the of the day. I don't think Come you again. can get Teddy anymore. Watch us get Teddy anyway. Oh, the sweet <laughs> smell of victory. Oh, cool. <laughs> I'm really scared as to who we got because I really don't know. I never knew the first You're time we played this game, stuff. and it's I sure as shit don't organized. know now. Careful, there's an FOE here. Sorry. It opened. That is no ordinary wall. I suggest we investigate. That's an FOE over there. Ah, he was blocking his path. I gotta try this again. Here I go. I can't block line of sight. This way. Got it. You only want it because no one else does. Oh crap! Oh crap! There's an FOE right there! Ah! There are three enemies. The threat level is low. I've got this! <laughs> can, like, can you imagine if we got, like, Zen or something? That's that. <laughs> How'd I do? You did okay. He did pretty good, I guess. Get outmaneuvered. I think that wall's hiding something. We should check it out. Imagine we get Theo. That would also be really cool. <laughs> Shall we get going? The door ahead has been sealed. A question to the youngest lamb. Do you prefer bread or rice for breakfast? Huh? Does it mean me? Well, uh, I guess I like bread better. Having asked a lighthearted question unconnected to destiny, here comes question number six. Huh? What? You mull over the choice, unsure whether to answer it. I prefer it both in my coffee. Answer it. <laughs> What's the most important accompaniment for food? I made that last one terrible, but I don't care. Let's go. Wait, what? I 
I, oh, there we go. Fourth one didn't appear at first. I was like, what? Okay, the fourth trice just like didn't immediately appear for some reason. But it's there now. <laughs> and it's winning. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'll, I'll delete the poll, I'm sorry. But then it just like randomly popped into existence. Funky. Twitch was making sure uwu wasn't a secret insult, I guess. I don't know. I don't know why the poll did that. Ah, <laughs> uh, our first victim after changing uh, some rules <laughs> for... for auto mod. <laughs> For some reason, it was only for seven days, but I put it back now. We will discover uh, which things need to be added onto the permitted terms list together. <laughs> you don't like energy drinks? Yeah, that one was kind of... Oh, Are but you we're gonna absolutely sure? Eat with someone. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the best answer too. I will be so mad if it's Ken. I want Koromaru now. Actually, hold on. It just means you're I destined to own pets and Should not be in a relationship. <laughs> Did Automod update setting? No, I went into the settings because um. I thought it was turned off, and some things were that weren't beforehand. Huh. Huh? It smells nice here. Hmm. I wonder what that is. Perfume? Flowers? Oh, I brought food for this. <laughs> nice smelling spots are the perfect place to eat fermented horse mackerel and... <sighs> ah! Put it away! Put it away! I kind of want to relax here for a while. What do you think? I want to relax. You decide to enjoy the relaxing scent with everyone. Oh, we fall asleep. Oh, never mind. <sighs> I thought it was a bad thing. Just plead. <laughs> Has everyone had a chance to catch their breath? And let us be off. <laughs> All right, let's pick up the paste. Paste? Let's pick up the paste. It's everywhere. You gotta clean up after yourselves. That I can have an infinite stash of food, like Ray does. <laughs> this appears to be nothing but a dead end. The others are talking about the FOEs on this floor. <sighs> <sighs> Looks like those angel FOEs that lock eyes with you aren't around here. All Jeez, right. Why don't we play Bring a game of on. chicken with those FOEs the next time we see one? That sounds like a terrible idea. We'll see who can get the closest to them. The first one to break eye contact with the FOE loses. Dumbass. I'm not an idiot, you dumbass. We're playing around with the FOEs. Dumbass. <laughs> Ugh, I heard you the first time. Dumbass. I keep calling you a dumbass, because no matter how many times I remind you, you won't stop being a dumbass. Oh well. Here we go again. <laughs> I guess you have to put up with this every day, huh? 
No. Yes. I'm used to it now, though. I was surprised the first time I saw them go at it like that. Oh, oh really? really? We don't have any upperclassmen in our group, so it's still kind of weird to me. Oh, so, I have know. you known them all? Have you known all of them for a long time, Zebiko? No, not really. I transferred to the school about six months ago. That's when I met them. Me too. Pasta makes pasta. <laughs> oh, you're a transfer student, just like Ziku. Hmm. Oh, is that so? Let's get this over with. Hey, Zebi, help me shut this dumbass up. Huh? What do you mean help? Hey, quit trying to put a gag on him. Zebi runs over to Shinjiro Nakiko. Mm -hmm. So he's a transfer student. What is What's it? this? Could the appearance of this new cowboy have made Yuki-chan fall in the more? That's not no, true. It's not like that. It's oh, just like that joke was awful. <laughs> uh, so that joke Junpei taught me doesn't work. Gee. If you keep that up, the Gendogon girls are going to start acting really cold towards you, you know. Oh, no. I like ice cream, so ice girls don't sound that bad. Chan's you know. really mean, and Yukiton's very good at ignoring me. It's difficult to get close to them. More importantly, well, take Sebikun, for example. He's kind of mysterious, and I bet a lot of girls are into him. Mm -hmm. You're not mysterious. Not like that, anyway. I mean, it's always pretty obvious what you're after. Me too, me hey, too! I'm really mysterious. I grew myself a human body through sheer force of will, and I can turn completely flat sometimes. Oh, that's I'm not sure. mysterious. It's just plain creepy. Come on, let's get going. Hmm. Uh, this isn't good at all. There's got to be something I can do. Got it. Hmm. Oh! It seems that Teddy has been struck by an inspiration. Oh, Sensei! Have you been checking the requests? I have a feeling that there's a new request for you! <laughs> it's just a hunch. I don't have anything to do with this, I swear. Ah, request from Mr. X. It was Teddy. Not... You know how on the three side it was Junpei? And we lied and said that the Mr. X was super cool? Teddy doesn't have bones. Should be the stream title every day! For shock value, though, if I do it like that. Ready when you are, partner. You are indeed skilled. How are you doing, Val? Amazing! No wonder you're our leader. Title cannot be used. <laughs> Man, can you imagine? Oh shoot. Uh, well I have a shaman to use. Man, I need a Eve then, huh? Shoot. What's the fastest way to where I'm at? Ooh. Ooh, I'm not close to anything. There's a shortcut. There's a handful of shortcuts I can take. Okay. I never realized this. It's, <laughs> or maybe I did, but it's it's like Yosuke, Yosuke and Junpei cheering Kanji and Akiko respectfully, I assume, on. Naoto's just watching, and Shinjo's like, oh my god, they're all stupid. <laughs> Help.
When was Kaiser? Oh no. Oh no. with the character. I'm no more familiar with well, I'm more familiar with the characters, but I'm not familiar enough with them to read it. And even then, if I could, I don't think I'd be able to translate it. We'd have to use the am. Oh. Huh? What good timing. This may take some time. Please have a seat. If I remember correctly, the incident occurred while you were off exploring the labyrinth. I was playing around in the velvet room. No. Rather, I was continuing my research when I discovered a very peculiar spatial void within the velvet room. I discovered that this void was giving off readings that I had been looking for this whole time. More shocking, when I reached for it, it expelled a strange spherical object and then disappeared. A spatial void? If you saw it, you would immediately understand what I mean. It is a rather peculiar phenomenon. And this is the sphere that was expelled from it. Ah, oh, this beautiful orb with a pearlescent ultram ultramarine shape. A color that brings to mind the deep sea. Now, now then, getting to the main point. I have actually found similar readings within the depths of the labyrinths. I would like you to investigate these areas, and I will add new requests for you to do so. I have prepared higher quality rewards for these requests. Please take them on when you have the time. Ah, yes, that. Yeah, we got... Never feel like... Several. Okay. I never feel like... Are... This quest is... This request is from Nauta. I will go call her now. Please wait a moment. Jack Frost, what are you doing? I apologize for the wait. I don't know. There are several, so I don't actually know which one you're referring to. <laughs> uh, this is somewhat um, awkward. If you don't mind, I'd like to explain the details of this request. Recently, a theft was reported. The client is... Let's call her Miss C for now. Behind you. Uh, I don't know. He's kind of just tied up. The stolen object was a meat jelly that the client was saving for a snack. I truly can't imagine how it tastes. Whatever the value of the theft, a crime is a crime. I made this request so that the truth can be revealed. Ooh, that's our ace detective! Let's see. Uh, um, so, I would like your assistance in this matter. Go, sidekick, go! In any case, I would like to talk to you more about this. Let us discuss the matter somewhere else. Oh. What makes this location unsuitable? I'm sorry. I must protect the victim's privacy, and so I need to keep our discussions as covert as possible. I see. Ah, I see. I understand. Oh, and one more thing. I would like to get to the bottom of this as soon as possible. I'll be that is why I've placed a time limit on this request. I ask that you act quickly. Yeah, I, I kind of remember this one too. Then of course, investigate in Wonderland. It seems as though. Unknown shadow. Sorry, Elizabeth. Request from Mr. Are you? This, this request is... comes from a party who wishes to remain anonymous. I will refer to this person as Mr. X. It's quite an interesting name, but since I have no idea who it is, I will be giving you the information myself. Well, then. now then. Elizabeth produces a piece of paper from her pocket. Hello there. I am Mr. X, the mystery of mysteries, and far handsomer than the average bear. I hear that the Gekogon girls are a pack of diverse and beautiful ladies, leaving me no choice but to meet them, which is why I want you to get them together for me, Sensei. I'll be counting on you. And that is that is exactly as the request was written. Elizabeth puts the note down on the table. In other words, 
To put it plainly, this request would be to pick up chicks. In order to increase your chances of success, allow me to give you some tips on the secret art of pickup lines. According to en Enigmatic Love, a magazine often read by young men yearning for romantic interests, it is important to instantly spot a person's interests and use that to cleverly woo them. I hope this helps. There is a time limit. That would be horrifying. Like, would it be Mr. X sized or would it be Teddy sized where he's like slightly shorter than you? <laughs> but he could still knock your lights out. Huge! Ah! Horrible! That would be terrifying! You just see this brightly colored red, white, and blue mascot running towards you, trying to kill Leon. <laughs> you do have a lot of emotes that are dang. He wants to kill Claire too. That would also be that would be scarier if you played it as Claire though. <laughs> I mean Claire has the better weapons, late game weapons, the heavy weapons. Uh I should say. I don't really like her from the hip shot revolver in remake specifically because I haven't played the original, I'm sorry. Uh, but she has like the machine gun and the grenade launcher and it's like Lamau. <laughs> I could. I need to set up for that. Hmm. <gasps> Wait, it's on. <gasps> <sighs> Is Elizabeth a suspect? I wouldn't expect any less. That's very astute of you. I guess I was right in asking for your assistance with this request. Welcome back, Day Nightfall. I'll explain everything that I have deduced. First, let's go over the facts we already know. First, the time the crime was committed, it would have had to have taken place while we were in the labyrinth. Because of this, there are only four people with the means of committing the crime at that time. Theo, Margaret, Marie, and Elizabeth. Everyone else with a conscious mind was with us at the time, leaving those four as the only suspects. Also, according to Miss C's testimony, she witnessed seeing someone flee the scene. She only caught a glimpse and cannot provide a description. However, we can assume the culprit is acting alone. What do you think? That is as far as my theory goes at the moment. What do you think? I... I was the culprit. I think so. Thank you very much. I ate the meat jelly. No, I know who it is because I remember now. We, we catch the person in a lie. Thank you. Let's investigate under these presumptions then. Next, we will have to conduct interviews. Before we do, let me give you some tips on investigations. To put it bluntly, the thief will be lying in their testimony, so if we find the lighter, we should find the thief. We'll have to use the assumptions we've made in order to figure out the lies. The assumptions are the culprit is acting alone, the culprit will lie, everyone else will tell the truth. These are the assumptions we will base our investigation on. Please keep that in mind. This is all I have to say regarding investigations. Were you able to get all of that? Yep. Let's, Let's go. go then. We must visit each of the facilities to gather the testimonies. We'll discuss this more once we've gathered all the testimonies. The nurse office first. I'm sorry. Pardon me, Elizabeth. There is something I would like to ask you about. Could you tell me what you were doing at the time the crime took place? I see. I see. So this is why you did not discuss the case here when he accepted the request. I'm sorry. I didn't want to reveal any information about the investigation to a potential suspect. I see. Then I have only one thing to say about this. And that is the thief is a member of my family. Hmm. My family, you mean yourself, Theo, and Margaret, correct? <laughs> In most cases, I would assume that you would try to deny your involvement in the case or cover up for your family. 
But were I truly the thief, I would not want to give any information to an investigator. Of course, you have to consider the possibility that I am lying. Please be sure to think carefully on what I said. Hmm. Frankly, that statement makes your standing in this case much more suspect. If you wish to retract it. <laughs> I am prepared for any and all consequences that await. Thank you very See, much. For your cooperation. We're able to get Elizabeth's testimony. How much did you miss? Uh, we asked some more Welcome. questions. Uh, we don't know who we're getting. I'm really not sure. I have a feeling it's somebody, but... No! That's so sad. Have all the questions been asked? No. Not that you'll ever play one PS5. I'm sorry. Excuse me, I have something that I would like to ask you to. Nasa briefly explains the incident involving the meat jelly theft. Do you mind telling me where you where you were at the time of the theft? Oh. I have been cooped up in here the entire time. Oh, that's not Margaret. Me too, but I go on walks every once in a while. So you're saying the two of you have not been with one another the whole time, correct? That is true. Correct. Neither of us would be able to prove that the other is not the thief. Hmm. Well, I'm not the thief. But, but if I were the thief, I'd definitely lie about it. Of course. I see. Is there anything you can tell us, Margaret? That is true. Let me see. By the looks of it, Marie does not appear to be lying. And though it goes without saying, I am not the culprit. I simply don't have the time for such things. Thank you very much. I see. Thank you for your cooperation. Welcome to the- I will- I'm sorry. Excuse me, Theo. I'd like a moment of your time. Now to briefly describes the case of the missing meat jelly. Could you tell me what you were doing at the time, Theo? Uh, I haven't done Excuse anything. Excuse me. Please, I'm telling the truth. Please, calm down. Calm I'm down. Not accusing you of anything. Oh, I see. My sister has always blamed me for things I didn't do. I panicked out of habit. Uh, you have my sympathies. However... But as I stated, I can I can affirm that I am not the thief. As for proving it, that would be somewhat difficult. Uh, by the way, the one who goes around the school grounds the most, without a doubt, is without a doubt Elizabeth. Just between you and me. I have my suspicions that Elizabeth is the one behind this theft. Thank you very much. Understood. For your cooperation. We're able to get Theo's testimony. Huh. Oh. We now have testimonies from each of the four suspects. Let's go over them. We'll start with Marie. She said that she is not the thief, and that the thief would be lying. Next is Mark. She said that Marie is not lying, and that she herself is not the thief. Next, Theo. He said that he is not the thief, but that Elizabeth is the most likely one to have done it. Lastly, Elizabeth. All she said was that the thief would be someone other than Marie. If we assume that the culprit will lie, and the others will tell the truth, if we reverse their testimonies and compare them to our assumptions, we may figure something out. There's someone who's suspicious. Huh? Have you already figured it out? Impressive. That would mean that the liar is the thief. That person may still be hiding something. I wonder why the thief would go to do such a thing though. <laughs> Actually, something has been bothering me. I feel as though something happened in the lab. Let me Excuse think me, about this for a moment. Would it be all right if I did some investigating on my own? Uh, what should I do? Elizabeth. That's correct. I'll let you handle the important task. If you believe you figured out who the thief is, go to that person's facility and confront him or her. I'm not sure if my investigation will finish in time. 
We may prevent the thief from taking further actions. However, this is a very sensitive matter, so please don't go accusing people at random. I suggest that you think carefully about our assumptions and testimonies before you make any accusations. I will see you later. We'll be acting separately from this point on. Me? What are you saying? And what basis do you have to make that accusation? Tell Theo that you tried reversing his testimony. Reverse it? Very well. Let us try that then. I stated that I was not the thief, and that Elizabeth seems the most suspicious. Reversing that would be, I am the culprit, and Elizabeth is not suspicious? <clears throat> I suppose like, that is a so? consistent argument, but do you have any proof? He has a point. I'm sorry for Chie's misfortune, and that you and Naoto are making wasted efforts, but I am not the culprit. I will have to ask you to- Hello. Excuse me. Naoto returns. I am sure that you are hard at work on your investigation. I was just saying to him that I am not- Yes, I heard your conversation. You're the one behind this. Theodore, you are the true thief, aren't you? Wh why would that saying? be- What are All I said to you was that the meat jelly had been stolen. How exactly did you know that the victim was Chie Senpai? If you confess now, your punishment will be less severe. What will you do? No, I'm sorry, but I will have to decline that offer. I see. Very well. I'm sorry to borrow leave with this, but would you gather everyone at the entrance to the group date cafe? Are you sure? I've furthered my investigation, and I have come to a hypothesis. I would like to share it with everyone. Theodore, you may keep your silence, but would you please accompany me? <laughs> Ray would. <laughs> Ray would, wouldn't she? Gather everyone together and head to the group date cafe. Yeah, but I remember how we solved this. You reverse everyone's testimonies. So it's like... Elizabeth is not the thief. It has to be either her, Margaret, or Theo. Marie is not the thief. The thief will be lying. Margaret is not the thief. And Marie is not lying. If you reverse that, it doesn't make any sense. I am the thief. The thief will not lie. I am the thief. Marie is lying. I am the thief. It has to be Marie. <laughs> but Theo's doesn't, like, contradict itself if it's reverse. Like, it doesn't contradict or correlate, like, anything else. Like, if you say, I am the thief, but it, but it can't be one of my- a member of my family, but it can't be Elizabeth. It has to be Marie. If, it, if a Margaret is the thief, then Marie is lying, and only the thief would lie. That's how you do it. <laughs> Fuka went to be polite. <laughs> now that my hypothesis. I'd like to explain my hypothesis. Hey, Hold now. on, Theo. Is this true? <laughs> yes. My apologies. I'm truly sorry. That's it. Why? Don't you have anything to say? Like that you were really hungry and it looked too delicious to pass up. Please, there calm is a down. Why Theo cannot explain it. What is your what problem? Chie Senpai, are you certain that you left your meat jelly on its desk? Nato points to that particular desk in front of the group date cafe. Yeah. And when we entered the labyrinth, Yosuke Senpai hid his herb vitals on the desk. Do you remember that? <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right. You might not have known Zikun. Huh? But wasn't the meat jelly fine at the time? Yes. Yes. The theft occurred after we entered the labyrinth. When Yosuke Senpai hit the desk, the blackboard on it moved. When the door shut, it knocked the blackboard over. And so the meat jelly was squashed by the fallen blackboard. I had koromara san sniff the area to verify that. Huh? S squashed? But I didn't see any trace of a mess when we came back. 
that is where Theo enters the narrative. Theo, you hit all traces that this ever happened, correct? <sighs> have you figured it all out then, Naoto? No, unfortunately, this is as far as I have been able to infer. I would like to hear the rest of the story from you, Theodore. <sighs> I arrived soon after you all had entered the labyrinth. I clearly remember Yosuke screaming and Chie shouting at him. I was shouting? What did I say? Yes. You said, if anything happens to my meat jelly, you're a dead man. Did you say this, Chie Senpai? <laughs> uh, um, uh, <laughs> After that, events transpired exactly as you said. The closing door. The falling blackboard. The tragic splat. And I was the only one to witness the whole thing. Indeed, I knew that Yosuke's life depended on me. Of which course. Which is why you decided to cover up the whole thing. You left traces of theft to hide the truth. It is true that Yosuke is truly the underlying cause of all this. However, was it truly a crime that warrants death? I turned the question over and over in my mind. By the time I realized it, I had already cleaned up the mess, and in doing so hidden a deep, dark secret. Of course uh, not! You know, I wasn't really serious that I was gonna kill him. Is that, is, is so? that true? I sincerely believed that you would end Yosuke's life! No. Of course I wouldn't! Mystery the has been solved. It was caused by Theo's good intention and Chie Senpai's foul tongue. Uh, I guess I brought this on myself. Chie, a simple apology cannot undo what I have done, but I am truly sorry. Y you don't have to apologize. I mean, I was the one who said that horrible thing, and Yosuke smushed it anyway. Um... And I'm sorry that I made you feel like you had to lie. Please, you mustn't. There is no need for you to apologize. It looks as though the case has been solved. <sighs> He's closed. What hey, the? what? Are you saying this is all my fault? No. Not at all. This incident occurred due to Theo's actions. But Elizabeth. <sighs> the most unforgivable thing is that he tried to lay the blame on me with his false accusation. I'm My sorry. Apologies. However, I believe that you would be the best potential thief in order to confuse the investigation. Thea. I don't remember you praising you to be this way. Oh, this saddens me so. <laughs> oh, woe <laughs> is me. <laughs> Elizabeth's crying is obviously overdramatic. Okay. Oh, Theo, you made her cry. Uh, I, uh, Excuse me. That is true. I suppose you could show your contri contrition by... Why don't you buy a meal for everyone present? Y yes of course! I will go immediately! Theo runs off. Uh, I feel like I owe him another apology. No. Not at all. Theo must learn that lying with good intent is nothing more than sticking to one's nose where it is unwanted. <gasps> Oh god, I don't have money for this. No, he's so cute! Persona 3 Protect Mendo! Ah! He's $65 though! Yes, a Nendo for P3. A Nendoroid, specifically. Screen share, please. Switch scenes. Turn that on and hide us. He 
mean, yes, it does come with the gun. Sorry, I just, I got the notification and I was like, oh, but it's, it's, mm, mm, I don't think I'm gonna get it, <laughs> but he is cute. Now the Persona 3 FMC Nendo. Well, that's the thing. There's a, a Maya and a Tatsuya Nendo too. So I wonder if Good Smile is just making Nendos of all the protagonists and they, I would like to see one of Naya just because. It's not fair to do only some and exclude others. If they do go the route where they release a Nendo for all the protagonists, it would be really cool if there was a Naoya for the Persona 1 fans. I mean, you can't go wrong with 3 through 5, but I've already mentioned this before that I was very surprised that there are Nendos of not one, but both Persona 2 protagonists. To see, you got to see P3 Protag Nendo. He's very cute. <laughs> He's also very expensive. <laughs> Unsurprisingly. In any case, that solves the mystery. Thank you for your cooperation in this matter. Oh no. I mean, I couldn't not share after I made a dramatic sound. Like, you can't, you can't not. That would just not be fair. <laughs> All I did was collect the physical evidence. You were the one to reach the thief first. I have brought food for everyone. He returns with a huge pile of food. Oh. Oh, well, well, this is quite a grand party. Hey, mm, here, I put this. this in for everyone too. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh! I want to see if they'll do a rerun of Tatsuya and Maya because I kind of actually like I hate the fact that they came out before I knew anything about Persona 2 because now I really want them. <laughs> I mean, I did get everyone involved, so this is kind of my way for saying sorry. Chie pulls out a package of something labeled meat jelly. Oh, you had more. This is the absolutely last one I have. Make sure you savor every bite. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Uh, well, why don't we give this meat jelly a try anyway? Since it caused so much drama. You all have a bite of the meat jelly. Yeah, get out the vet first. Priorities. What the hell is this? This is... How do I put it? <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Meat is all squishy. Even Gormoro doesn't like it. Well! Well! It is almost break time. Oh, he wants to go outside. You never noticed the tornado in the text box before? Oh yeah, the, the frustration sound. The, 
boat. It tastes so good! It's so good! It's so ridiculously meaty! It's meticulous! Only cheating. You walk Theo back to the handcrafted workshop. You should report to the nurse's office later. for 10. <laughs> Picking up girls. The display hall on the second floor. Before you begin working on Mr. X's request, you remember Elizabeth's tip about pickup lines. According to Elizabeth, the most important thing about pickup lines is to pick up one a person's interests. That way, you can cleverly drop them into a conversation in order to woo them. You're not sure if this will actually help you, but it's all you've got to go on right now. It's time to begin. Get it over with. You decide to go for a walk around the school. Leftover deli. You see Fuka looking into the kitchen. Hello! Oh, hello, Zikun! Um, I was just impressed hey. by how skillful the people in this kitchen are. I cook too, so I wanted to learn from them. It seems that Fuka is impressed by the cooks here. Are your eyes twinkly stars? I love eyes! <laughs> you tell Fuka about Mr. X's request. Um, Mr. Who? X? I suppose that's a common enough alias used in works of fiction. But, but what kind of person is he? A master chef. Is that a true? Chef? Could it be Shinjiro Senpai? But I doubt he's the kind of person who would call himself Mr. X. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Can you... That'd be horrible. It's like, yeah, just... Uh... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but why would you assume, Fuka? So, um... I... I'd like to talk to this Mr. X. Maybe I can learn some things from him. Nice. Mm -hmm. I'll give it some thanks. Thought. Thanks for inviting me. Watching them cook has made me all hungry. I just ate a little while ago. But it's all right if I eat a little more, right? Luca stares rapidly at the people in the kitchen. She has a lean and hungry look. You continue walking. Oh my god. This chocolate that I have? like weird I can't describe this properly I don't think but it's bar chocolate with like an Oreo in the center like a small Oreo in the center of each square but it's not like pressed in it's like they they put the cookie and then one like one side of the cookie and then the cream in and then they filled the chocolate and then they put the top cookie of the Oreo on it. <laughs> so the chocolate bar is actually in the middle of like the chocolate is in the middle of the Oreo. But like, extends further out because it's a chocolate bar, not a chocolate stuffed Oreo. Hi. Oh, Zikun. Hey, can I ask you something? Is Margaret a scary person? Is she really blunt and mean? Hmm. I was thinking about having her read my fortune, but I don't think I could take it if she's ruthless with bad news. No. Hmm. Oh, I didn't know there was someone like that here. Huh? Imagine a piece of bread with cheese on both sides. Yeah, actually. Like, you get like a, like a, you get like a, a, grilled cheese sandwich, but you put so much cheese that when the cheese melts, it oozes out the sides. 
Oh, but I doubt he'd be as upfront as Margaret about having a bad fortune. Maybe I'll have him give me a reading. Ari seems interested in meeting Mr. X. <laughs> well, I'll go if I have the time. Hmm, I guess I'm I'll try sure. asking Theo about Margaret. Cool. Second floor display hall in front of the Cannes Film Festival. You see Igis walking out of the room as a movie ends. Hello. Hello, Zisan. I was watching a movie in this classroom about a war between humans and robots. According to the movie, I cannot there will come comprehend. a time in which humans and robots will be unable to coexist. When that time comes, when that time comes, what am I to do? It seems that Igis has existential questions that only a fellow robot would understand. So that's why they never make triple stuff like this. Actually, they do. It's called extreme stuffed. Those are actually real. Like, there's double stuff, and then there's extreme. They didn't call it triple. <laughs> I guess, because maybe it's not quite triple, but they're, they're large. <laughs> How mysterious. Mr. X, is it? What kind of person is this man? He's not a person to begin with. How could it be? Then he must be of mechanical origin like myself. But... Actually, Mitsuru-san has forbidden me from being alone with people who I do not know, but... However... If he is not a person, then I believe it would be alright if I met him. With a dog and a robot. <laughs> Seems I guess is interested in meeting Mr. X. And two, one and two didn't get non-human characters as party members, which fair, fair. <laughs> I mean, Trish, maybe you could count. That's kind of why Morgana and Teddy have Trish costumes. That's a lot for, like, a singular cookie. I will be off. I will continue making my way around the culture festival. Fire! The next stop is Go You Game Land. It is time for me to reveal my abilities in marksmanship. Oh, you're making that up. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, like, damn. <laughs> That's really bad, actually. <laughs> oh, it's you. Ah, Beastie. I see that you're alone. I'm afraid... I'm at something of a loss of what to do. <sighs> this is the first time I've been at a culture festival in which I have nothing to do. I'm not sure where I should go. 200 calories for two. That's uh, that's still a lot for something that's pretty small. I visited the student council in the faculty office, but as one may expect, there's no talking to me. Sir seems to be confused in this unfamiliar situation. You tell her about Mr. X's request. Oh. Mr. X. That's quite an idiotic name. What kind of person is he? D I mean, the principal of this world, the student president of this world. That wouldn't be possible. Ah, fucked up. Hmm, I'll be seeing you. Shit, I missed one. Damn it! I don't care. The special item's not that bad, and we got everyone but Mitsuru. I wasn't sure. That was tough. Everyone, attention over here! Mr. X. Ta-da! Ta it's only 140 for two double stuff. Okay. I knew all along. But what? Really? But I was very careful so that nobody would be able to figure it out. It was me when I wrote that note. Whoa, I guess you're just amazing, too smart sensei. to fool, Sensei. <laughs> Anyway, I've come up with a genius plan. So everybody comes after you invite them, right? When they're here, we'll have a tea party. I'll leave her. Let's At go! The voila! Enter Monsieur X. That's me wearing a cutting disguise of this cape and sunglasses. And he shows you a curtain from the nurse's office and a pair of novelty sunglasses complete with mustache. <laughs> and once Teddy has become Mr. X, this mysteriosity goes way up and all the girls will like me. His mysteriosity. And once their enthusiasm reaches critical mass, I'll reveal my true identity, to, and all of Mr. X's adulation goes to me. What? What do you think of this perfect plan? 
pretty amazing, wouldn't you say? I kind of fucked up and you didn't get uh, Mitsuru, but honestly, Mitsuru would probably execute you. So, hey, it may have been a win-win situation in this regard. I'm not worthy. <laughs> I knew you'd see my birthday stage sensei. Come on! Now then, bring on the girls a kick gun. After a little while, Fuka has come! <laughs> oh, look, mm -hmm. Oh, hello, Teddy. Were you invited too? Uh huh. The most stuff, Oreo. It's terrifying. <laughs> I'm oh, so sorry. For a second there, I thought you might be Mr. X. No, no, no. <laughs> of course not, Fuchan. Mr. X is far more mysterious. <laughs> He's a mysterious master chef, right? Wah! Yeah. I you wanted see? to ask him a lot of questions about cooking, so I made a list of everything I wanted to ask. <laughs> so far, I'm up to 47 pages, so it's a little long, but <laughs> I'm so excited to meet him. Now I forgot to tell you, uh, Mr. X just told me earlier that today's meeting is canceled. Uh, what? Oh, uh, oh I see. I see. Well, I suppose it can't be helped. Bye bye Sorry about that! <laughs> Sensei, what is going on? Are you okay? I don't know how you invited them, but uh, this is just how it's gonna be. I'm starting to get a little worried. Yukari. Why? Huh? Oh, what are you doing here, Teddy? Me too, I me was too. invited to meet the mysterious Mr. X too. Really? This Mr. X guy might know. be more famous than I thought. I'm glad I came then. Huh. It's too low for most stuff. That's right, for you to see. For you to see, Mr. X is none other than a super <laughs> accurate fortune teller who's changed the lives of thousands, right? <laughs> oh, I guess he's not all talk. I'm really looking forward to getting my fortune read by him. <laughs> uh, fortune? Teller? I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. Yukatan, but that's not Mr. X. Uh... Real Mr. X is more of a practitioner of the crazy staff style. Huh? The crazy what? Sorry, I don't think I've heard of that. I'm pretty sure you wouldn't be interested in seeing it. You should probably just head back. All, All right. right. I guess I'll just go to Margaret's place then. Okay. That'll be good. Margaret's fortunes are always on the dot. That's okay. not it. Why did you tell her Mr. X was a fortune teller? Hmm. I'm getting a very bad feeling about this. You can have almost five whole ones. How are you today? So you can have 20? Oh, you shouldn't eat it for a meal. <laughs> oh, I John, over here. Is something Hello, the matter? Teddy. What brings you here? Mr. Right! X asked me to come here too. Is that so? I see. So you and Mr. X are acquaintances then. I would like to ask you a direct question then. Could you tell me what Mr. X's intended functionality is? Ah? Huh? What do you mean? Quite true. Every machine is built with a purpose in mind. For example, I slay shadows, toasters make toast, and so on. I knew already, and yet it still surprised me immensely. Yeah, I was like, ah, yes, Atlas being like, the memes, we see them. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I would like to know if he was designed for agricultural or factory use, for example. Ah! I was going to tell you, uh, the Mr. X model is actually out of order right now. What? Oh dear, I am quite sorry to hear that. I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you about it. This is goodbye. Breaking down is part of being a machine. I will wait until the next opportunity arises to meet him. Bye bye Yeah, it's a pity. I'll see you later. Boo! Sensei, I can't even... I mean, I don't know what to say. It's gotta be better next time, right? 
Will there even be a next time? Yeah, about that. I don't think I convinced Mitsuru to show up. You tried your best. Aww. Being mysterious is so hard. I missed- I, we didn't get Mitsuru. I'm so sad. It's fine. We'll get the requests done and out of the way before doing, uh... Welcome. Teddy, we might still hang out later. Please wait a moment. I ap Thank you very much. Please. Utility left first. Well. And antibiotic gel. I will sell that. Please wait a moment. Sensei? Oh! Well, I guess because I got most of them, I still got rewarded. Bye -bye. But I didn't get all of them, so maybe he would have given me something better. I don't know. Leave. We'll fight the shadow, um, and then watch the strolls, because I don't think the strolls go away until I, like, either finish a dungeon or traverse the floor. Like, completely. Yes, I will accept that. And take that break. Oh! Cool. So she just decided voice acting was not for her. down the line. How do you go on a TV? In the food court, Nazo seems agitated. Not quite. No, no. It's not a matter of whether the TV is CRT or flat panel. What? What if you went into one of those slim TVs? You'd stick out from the other back, right? Let's see. As I've said, power is to enter a world connected from the TV, not to punch through TVs. Hmm. It's the world part I keep getting hung up on. Does that have to do with the connection or something? Or is it microchips? You don't get electrocuted? <sighs> it has nothing to do with the model of TV or its amperage. I suppose I had a hard time coming to grips with it until I experienced it for myself. Hmm. Maybe it's like the Dark Hour. You know, the way our school transforms into Tartarus? We're used to it now, but it'd be hard to believe for someone who's never seen it. Uh... Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Earl inside the TV. Oh, so you were listening. In between eating all that yakitori. <laughs> I get it. The world inside the TV. We're ta you're talking about the world of celebrities. <sighs> no. You don't get it. What? Hmm. See, I was listening to your conversation, but I still don't understand. What is the world of celebrities? That's where actors gather. I see. So you're saying this world inside the TV is a place where people act. Does that make you actors as well? Hmm? Oh, hey, Zen. You all right not having Rage on with you? Oh. Protect Ray in the labyrinths, but there's no danger here. And you are looking after her as well. I'm sure Ray enjoys your company. She's been with me for a very long time. Yeah, but she probably wants to hang out with you too, you know? Hmm. I don't know. Play hall. The girls are crowding around for a 
here, Koromaru kun. <laughs> Good boy, you're so smart! If he's this smart, maybe he'll eventually learn to talk. I believe that, that would is be out impossible. of the question. Canine vocal cords are too different from human ones. Well, sure, it's impossible if you just give up like that. Mm. I'm pretty sure that's not the problem. It's like, you know, wings. <laughs> Humans don't have those. <laughs> Guys! Guys, I'm right here! Hmm. If Korachan started talking, he wouldn't be as cute. Don't you think so? Ken has wings? In his dance... In his dancing uh, uh, game outfit, yes. <laughs> What if he started saying, like, hey, cutie, wanna get hitched? Or I can't control myself around you. <sighs> oh. That does remind me of this other animal we know. Wowza! <laughs> Sensei! Sensei! I'm just throwing this out there, but just thought everyone here loved me? <sighs> ah, darn it. No! Sensei, please don't joke around about this! <laughs> There's nothing to worry about, Teddy. Y Yuki chan! It's just that poor Marukun's cuter than you. No! Oh! I'd wish you'd sugarcoat it just a little. I see. It's just that Koro's something's cuter than you. Is this an improvement? I don't think that's the problem uh, uh, either. Wait, the attendants picked out the dancing outfits? Oh yeah, they did. I mean, depends on the type of wing they nightfall. If we're talking about wings like a bird's, yeah, no, definitely not. <laughs> After all, there are creatures that existed long before us that definitely weigh more than we do that were capable of flight. <laughs> Inside you stays quiet. But what? You mean like this? That's actually really creepy. <sighs> nope, still annoying. <gasps> Even when I'm silent? <sighs> I don't want your pity. You enjoyed some time with your companions. Hi. You looking at me? What you looking at? You looking over here? Correction, our bones aren't hollow enough. Yeah, there, there, that's better. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no, I'm not gonna go there, but it's like, like gliding animals. Like squirrels. Light, would it? <laughs> no. <laughs> but yeah, it, it, it's mostly because bo the bones of most animals capable of flight are hollow. With some exceptions. In which then, it's not really perpetual in-air mo motion, but rather a mo momentum that is maintained by certain membranes keeping the animal aloft for a specific duration. We can technically fly on one of Saturn's Breath of the Wild is up in the chat. Well, Breath of the Wild, you're not flapping your wings, you're using a, a paraglider. Which is... 
more structurally sound and makes maybe not complete sense because it's so little, uh, but it makes more sense than the previous game in the series where you literally pulled out a piece of cloth and held it like a parachute and just fell slowly. Do zipline scout just play? I guess if we covered this, if we covered, if we could cover the distance between countries via zipline and it was somehow fast enough and simultaneously safe enough, maybe. <laughs> Itsuru impresses Naoto. Third floor concession alley at the leftover deli. Your companions are having a light meal. Oh, Sensei! Sensei, over here! The yakisoba here is better than what they have at Junez. Junez yakisoba is all dry. Huh? Dry yakisoba? Are you guys sure you're using oil? Okay. Just a teensy bit. Junez's thing recently has been cutting costs. For crying out loud. <sighs> Making the food taste like such crap that no one buys it seems to be defeating the point. Alright, look. I'll give you some tips on how to keep it moist even without oil. Ooh. I was just on the wrong path! <laughs> Damn, Micus! It seems the nickname C's dead mother isn't just for show. You know what? I take it back. Let's Are you see. good at cooking? <sighs> Not that good. I'm just average. Hmm. Average? What? Uh... When you've tasted what Yuki-chan and the others make, you lose your sense of what's average. Huh? <laughs> I confess, <laughs> I wouldn't have expected that of you. I suppose this proves how narrow-minded I can be. I'm pretty sure it ain't that big a deal. Not but quite. It is. Just as Mitsuru san said earlier, it's made a deep impression on me. I try to live by the principle that gender discrimination is antiquated, but part of me may have given up. That so? Oh. Oh, um, I'm sorry. I... I didn't mean to go on like that. I see. You are fighting things other than shadows, aren't you, Naoto san? Perhaps what I'm struggling against is what should probably properly be called the world's shadows. And everyone fights. Yes. yes. So I believe. I have a hard time understanding. Your souls have many layers to them. It is hard to see the deepest parts. But I sometimes catch a glimpse. It is very difficult to comprehend. <laughs> it's okay, Ai-chan. I don't understand either. I don't have a clue what now John is talking about. <laughs> no, that has more to do with gravity apps, right? I feel like you made a joke here last time. About average. This conversation actually didn't happen. I I don't think this particular stroll was on side three. Standard deviation. That I can comprehend. What? Hello, <laughs> the experimenter. You pass some time with your companions. Oh. All right. Labyrinth. Human Wonderland. Final floor. There's something there! Hi. There's something there! It's a new type of shadow, and it looks strong. <laughs> sounds, sounds like a like, challenge. <laughs> sounds like fun. Oh, and it looks like there's some kind of weird place in the back. I'm pretty sure that's the void thing Elizabeth was talking about. I'll knock you to the ground. Let's check it out after we beat this thing into the ground. Okay. Hello. Golden. It's pretty shiny. It's only one enemy. Let's make sure to defeat it quickly. Yosuke, keep your head Electricity. Up Why are you picking on me? Oh. 
Yes. She needs it. Why not? Come on, get the door. Oh, 13 damage. Ouch. There we go. Penny fells. Orgia mode. Igis has activated her Orgia mode. Her battle power has increased. I shall attack relentlessly. Resists wind and physicals. So That's probably why it can do anything. Yeah, it's very compressed. I don't... Well, I know why. It's for a 3DS. But it's weird how, like, the talking dialogue in the game isn't. But the battle... Summoning Athena! Summoning sounds are compressed. Our team is highly synchronized. I don't... I wonder if it's that they compressed the battle sounds more. So when this was made... When this, um... Emulation data was exported, it decompressed what was originally mildly compressed, but it wasn't able to completely decompress this. That or... Whatever I added to it to decompress it wasn't able to do everything, which is why this still sounds super crunchy. But I also mentioned both with Persona Q2 and with Persona Q. That enemy's weakness is electricity. Is that um it's just attack normally. Um These, like, HD and decompression and audio fixers, <laughs> both versions for both games, were not complete. Athena. Like, the one for Q2 was definitely I'll more edit. polished. Yes. Nettyorama is free. We like that. Um... While the Q2 one definitely has more polish, because this one, looking on it now, it seems to have been primarily done with an AI. Hence why you got, like, weird texture stuff going on with some of the text. Um, and portraits. Whereas the other one, where there were... the text was left alone and the portraits were left alone. It was mainly focused on the models, the tech, the 3D textures, and the sound. number for the EXP, the result, and the level number, as well as their individual levels, main and sub, you can tell that's been boosted. My persona is steadily improving. She's growing up too. And like, some of the number values, you can see the lines where the program that they used wasn't really sure what they were looking at. It's interesting. You're so cool! I don't mind it. I would- I mean, this also came with audio decompression, so it's not like removing it would make it better. It, we would trade one thing for another. <laughs> Could my HD patch have messed up the emulation more in Q2? I don't actually know for sure. I don't think so, because the only thing that it would apply to would be texture wrapping, uh, and then applying extra textures to pre-existing ones like text. 
and uh, and then uh, giving a decompressed version of the audio, which was probably injected directly into the game files from somebody who had access to the soundtrack, which would also explain why the Persona summoning sound effects are not decompressed. It's because there's probably no database of them in their decompressed form. Unless, you know, you worked for Atlas and stole it <laughs> for the sake of this emulation. <laughs> or Q2's emulation, since we're talking specifically about Q2. I, I do think Q2 was, was just a matter of it wasn't tested and it's not as stable. Get a job at Atlas and steal the files and then get sued and arrested. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I'll do that. <laughs> I'll do that right now. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> awesome, you're so cool. Well, now that the shadow's gone, let's check what's inside. Yeah. I mean... Eh. <laughs> I'm, f I'm fine with the emulation of this game in the way that it's in. I like it. I fi it's fine in the state that it's in. <laughs> the game will still be unplayable to most people, but good for you helping us <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> now, it's pretty, and yet still unplayable. <laughs> Sounds good on the ears. <laughs> but still crashes every five minutes. <laughs> There's something in front of you. Huh? You're joking, right? This has to be some kind of right? joke, right? Elizabeth stuck her hand in this thing? You try reaching out towards it. So, what do you think? The void disappears, leaving behind a spherical object in your hand. Yellow orb. Thank goodness. I wonder what this sphere is, though. I'm feeling a really strong force coming from it. Cool. Welcome. As I gaze into this ball, I feel a very strange sensation coming over me. If I were to put this in an analogy, the origin of every life form, the natural order in which the seasons are repeated over and over, I have decided. The sphere will be called the sphere of f f fecundity. I will not hear any objections against it. Please remember that. Uh, now. This will be your- Alright, marvelous thing. Merit badge. Nice. visit. Ah, <gasps> uh, you came at the perfect time. I have good news for you. This unstable haven in the rift is excellent for experimenting with the secret arts of managing personas. I've put my own spin on an ancient technique and given birth to a new method. The ritual fuels the growth of one persona at the cost of two others. I call it the sacrifice spread. Of course, the sacrificed personas are lost forever. But it's a small price to pay, no? 
Ah, and when certain personas are sacrificed, a portion of their power remains like a parting gift. These can be used as materials in fashioning equipment. I suggest you take them to Theo. Okay. <laughs> I hope you allow me to put this new art into practice soon. Yeah, I, I didn't do it that Welcome. much. Also because I didn't have nearly as many people, and I didn't really want to pay attention to them. Also, I don't think you can sacrifice spread to primary personas. Oh yeah, Imperial H, there it is. And I didn't need anything else, so I was like, man. Then I have Parvati. Like, I, I think, if I do Amine Uzume, and then I decide Incubus needs to die, the Persona, yeah, the Persona to grow can only be one of these. Meanwhile, in two, you could give it to... Essentially, you could just give it to one of your characters to level them up. Imperish is second only to Raging Tiger and useful. <laughs> I don't know about that, but... <laughs> This is why I really didn't use it. It only affected personas that I had. Like, acquire. Acquirable personas, not default personas. So it was alright. going to this. Is this the persona you. Also, it costs money, but in this game, it's free, so. I mean, it's free the first time, but then it costs money every other time if you use the same persona I will to sacrifice. But in this game, it's like, eh. I guess they made it cost money so that way you wouldn't hyper-abuse the system. Be like, ah, oh, yes, this person who I've never used the entire game, I'm now going to keep summoning the same persona repeatedly and sacrifice it, so that way you will be a very high level very quickly. And it's like, no, you can't do that, because it costs... Yeah, because you spend your, all your money on healing here. Yes, this is true. <laughs> We're almost at 100 hours. Let's go... supposed to go I see which way I'm supposed to go oh welcome back then there are three enemies the threat level is low oh it's an idol oh it's an idol that's what Ken's <laughs> Well, that's that! An idol? <laughs> Where's that? No. <laughs> Let's go already! Careful! There's an FOE here! And now there's not. I could have gone south. I'm dumb. Yes, yes, yes! My skill level has increased. <sighs> Forward, march! Okay, yeah, we've done this one. And then I ran out of inventory space. And then I did a bunch of requests. Cop and Ken has entered the chat. <laughs> Oh, 
I was not enthusiastic three enough. Enemies. I'm Red sorry. Is love. Dancing while fighting, someone's confident. Dancing while fighting, someone's confident. Alright, whatever the hell you- Whatever you say. Sure. Wow, that was great! Amazing! No wonder you're our leader! Did you hear Lavarus? Same voice actress, so yes. <laughs> Let's go! You have reached a wide area, and you all decide to take a break. The girls have decided to sit a little ways away. Ugh, I'm so tired. Looks like there's gonna be more of those questions here. What's with this destined partner thing, anyway? I don't know why she's wobbling like that. But I'm looking forward to it, too. I wonder what kind of person would be his destined partner. Oh, right! It's based on his answers, so we're gonna find out his destined partner. Will they be chosen from amongst us? Huh? Do you suppose? From amongst us, huh? That feels a bit... too real. So what's the score, really? What score? You know, romance-wise. Come on, you knew what I was talking about. It's none of you. Yeah, <laughs> we chose a boy. <laughs> We're gonna get our hands... Well, actually, no, it's only with, with a girl that your hands are stuck together, I think. Or maybe it's only the first time. I wonder. I'm starting to wonder now. Because if you remember, we got Fuka first before fighting the boss, and our hands were literally stuck. And we were actually going to get married. And then a boss appeared and we killed it. So? How is it? I think... Your hands aren't s We didn't get our hands stuck to Shinjiro's. But we still walked into the chapel and they s the voice still said the saying your vows thing. But then Rise is like, nope. None of that. Stop. He carried us. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was the Photoshop. <laughs> There's nothing like that going on. Oh. There's no oh here. <laughs> Ooh. That either. I mean, Venko's right there. Oh, I'm sorry, Chie. Is, Is that, that inconvenient, inconvenient for, you? for you? No, of course not. Why would you say that? While we are on the subject, may I ask a question? Who is in a romantic relationship with who? I guess. Turn around. 180 degrees. Look at your team. Ask the same question mentally about them. There's your answer. Can't you try harder to take a hint? Well, I don't think there's anything like that <laughs> in particular. Mm hmm. Same here. That's so suspicious sounding. Hey, no fair talking about that stuff without me. Jeez, you better give us all the details later. Right, Fuka-chan? Junpei is the only one in a romantic relationship with anyone. Exactly. <laughs> Imagine we get Zen. That would be... That'd be nice, actually. I, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not against that. I mean, I'm not against getting any of them except for Ken. Just because that's weird. Mm hey! I knew you girls were whispering about something, but is there love talk going on? If you have a problem to talk about, then come jump into my wide, fluffy bear chest. It's soft. Total fluff. What? It seems like it'd be itchy. Save seat before and quit if it's Ken. <sighs> it might be a little late for that. A city lady's remark. How it cuts like a knife. Like how... I mean, I know that the load for the questions is random, but I'd have to be like, okay, well, what question? It lets you finalize, right? No. 
Like, if I save state before the final question, the final question, I believe, will change, but the questions that we've asked before will still apply. So if Ken was in the lead because of something we said, like, two or three questions ago, it's too late to change that. Well, there's still Ray-chan. She could jump into my- I really don't think it's Ken, though. I'd rather jump into Zen's. I thought it was like, are you sure about all your choices and you can change them all? Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. I'd rather jump into Zen's. <laughs> Do you think milk was a point for him? He doesn't like milk. But maybe. He was the one who was like, yeah, I agree when we said with someone else. And then he, like, I think he showed up again for another question. But again, I've already stated that them appearing to either agree or disagree does not always necessarily mean that they actually got points. Because we said that even the ace detective gives up was definitely the Junpei one, but Junpei still agreed with what we said when we said, let's have fun. I'm not sure. I'm not in. I'll check. We'll know when we know. There are three enemies. Also get the threat level is low. I've got this. We'll just have to hope that the next questions can be geared in a way where it's unlikely that Ken gets any points for them. Because it is random. There is a pool of victory of questions. It's not the same tag. How's my persona? The only Two. one that's the same is the one that determines whether you get a girl or a boy. Not necessary I didn't say that. <laughs> Except he's gonna reset. Yep. FOE confirmed. Watch out for that FOE! There's something funny about that wall. I see. Yeah, I see what I need to do. Whoa! I found an FOE! And then immediately messed up anyway. I need to be closer. Thanks, Teddy. That barely counts as wordplay. Set them. We may be able to break through the wall ahead. Open fire. Ah. There are three enemies. We get to move first. Let's keep attacking. Give me your orders. I'll do it. The battle has ended. I believe we have beaten We're our so speed close record. to level 70. The shred. What is he shredding? FOE confirmed. Oh, over there. There's an FOE. Up this ahead. dressing table at the Let center. us this investigate. This is a dressing table. I have heard that they are magical items that cast spells upon women. Huh? Spells? Yes. Yes. That is what Junpei-san taught me. Oh. Are you teaching Ike's nonsense again? 
Yeah, I know. She but... asked me how it works, and that's really the only thing I can think of. What is I it? I have a question for you, Junpei-san. In the case of men, what would be used to cast a similar spell on them? Yeah. Uh, for men? Uh, well, you don't really use a lot of makeup. That is an a, a extremely gross generalization. You don't know. Um... Spell on men. Spell on men. Oh, I know. A love potion. Are you stupid or something? In your dreams. What? Wait, they don't exist? But it comes up in so many stories. Hmm. Uh, yeah. I, they um... don't exist, right? I'm the normal person here for thinking they don't exist. I see. So they don't exist. Aww. Woo! Great, John. Where there's a will, there's a way. Don't give up hope. Let's That's try our best, best. John. Hmm? Don't give up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll do my best. Huh? Uh, do your best for what? <sighs> I give up. Obtain a love potion. That is no ordinary wall. I suggest we investigate. Use this Oikane Eidolon confirmed. Usus Oikane Eidolon confirmed. There's something funny about that wall. All right, next question. Woo! Well, hello, stray lambs, who must be getting weary of this introduction every time. <laughs> Cherry Coke is the closest real world alternative. For some, for many, for a decent number. Maybe not like a crazy amount, but yeah, for good. Destiny is like a shoe made of glass. Why is this? Hmm? I get it. You probably want us to say that even though it looks nice, it's fragile. <laughs> but this is what I say. Destiny is like a shoe made of metal. It can be a shackle that keeps you from moving, but you can also take it off at any time. Well then, on to what? question number seven. What? Don't ignore me! <sighs> what will you learn, dude? That voice doesn't care at all what we say. <laughs> Destiny is like a shoe made of metal. That's a very apt way of putting it, Akihiko. Wait, was that supposed to be inspiring? What do you most seek comfort in? <gasps> I'd happen again. I have to refresh. Well, I know which one gets Yosuke. I don't know what massages will do, and well... <laughs> Shinji? Oh my god, if, it, if that gives us Shinji and not Koromaru... <laughs> Music is definitely Yosuke or Persona 3 protagonist. Because they both like music. Gets Shinji again. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, it's already on number seven. We've got three more questions after this. 
You're not spending enough points. <laughs> I like how I can vote, but I don't think I could be eligible for additional voting because I have infinite points. <laughs> I wonder which one's gonna win. I just get the sneaking suspicion. Try it next time. We'll see, we'll see. I'll do that. Sure. <laughs> Are you, you absolutely, absolutely sure? sure? Yes. <laughs> it's like you get it. <laughs> Shinjiro Senpai might look mean. <laughs> but here's he's a big softie around Korochan. Huh? huh? Say something? No, not really. You didn't hear a peep out of me. <laughs> He's just like, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I'm going on ahead. What's that this? Sound. Must be that ordeal thing again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting pumped already. By the found way, found a door somewhere that we couldn't open, right? Did we mark it down? The sound came from in front of us. Why don't we head that way? There's something funny about that wall. Ah! There was so I can bet 250k of prediction. Dancing while fighting. Someone's confident. Go! Ha, that's my partner. We always Great job, just get to the yeah, Take a rest. but never further. <laughs> I don't think we've heard the full track once. <laughs> it is a treasure box. Do you wish that we open it? Shall I destroy it? Yes, destroy it. Immediately. Uh, oh, we have inventory space. I don't think the request... Okay, it might be timed, but I don't think it ends when you finish a floor. It ends when you beat... Here I come! Completely. That's what it means by time. Look, there's an FOE! Hold on! Careful! That door! It's another one with shadows leading behind it. I have a bad feeling about this. Please make sure you're absolutely ready. Oh, it's an FOE. You should be able to defeat this FOE. We should be able to defeat it. Shouldn't be that bad. <laughs> it used Terracotta and then it missed. <laughs> Just as I calculated. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're done here. <laughs> that was some great training. Well, no time to rest. Let's keep moving. This 
way. I have found a treasure box. Good night, glove. I wonder what that does. Oh, hey, isn't that a power spot? Dang, that was a really good power spot. There are three enemies. The threat level is low. Yosuke, keep your head in the fight! Why are you picking on me? <laughs> ah, that was close! Please, come again! I mean, most that end up being, like, dead children or young children specifically can be our usually. Well, that's that! Sad. Risa is so close. She's soon gonna be level 70. My persona's getting stronger! dead end. Huh. Smells nice around here, too! <laughs> Maybe it's another one of those spots where we can rest, like before. <laughs> we should take another break! What should we do? Whichever you decide is fine by me. This feels like a trap. You think so? Okay, then we'll keep going. Oh, we can still check it. <laughs> hmm. Well, this will get it out of the way, so... We fall asleep. Mm. Hey! What gives? What? It's fine. We're strong. There are three enemies. The threat level is low. Yosuke, keep your head in the fight! Why are you picking on me? What I do? Butterfly, butterfly piece. Hey, is everyone okay? Jeez. Jeez, you had me worried. <gasps> Thanks, Rise Chan. You saved our bacon. Still, we'd have, be we'd have been toast if he hadn't woken us up. Nice one. You're fast asleep until the second those things arrive. Are you some kind of samurai? Hmm. Uh, probably not. But that doesn't change the fact that he saved our asses. Thanks. A samurai means no thanks. <sighs> you don't have to play along with this idiot. But there's no denying that you and Kujikawa are the ones who saved us during this crisis. Those who've done good work must be well rewarded. Yeah, I agree. Let's <laughs> are in for a free meal when we get back. Yosuke's treat, of course. What the hell? Wait, why me? You were fast asleep too. Hmm. Ah, yes. I was told that you were quite wealthy. Well then, I'll leave the reward to you. Make sure that it is generous. Well, oh, what? Wait. Uh. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Yosuke's the stereotypical Japanese guy who can't say no. Damn it. Shut up. Just for that, I'm cutting off your snack supply. up there looks kind of fishy. Let's check it out. All right. The stairs are over there. Why don't we head over to them? Okay. Stop four. The final stop. Hmm. We've come pretty far in. I wonder how far this goes. Uh. Ray, are you all right? Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Wait a second. The presence of shadows just got stronger. I'm sensing something powerful further down. Please be careful. Yeah, that's how it works. Once you like trigger the event, you can no longer mess with it. That or you complete the dungeon in which then it doesn't let you mess with it even if you like completely didn't do it, which is sad. And I want to do them all until it doesn't let you interact with them. 
before we fight the boss and finish the labyrinth, which meant I intentionally did that, even though I was correct in that it would have triggered a fight. <laughs> we might be approaching the deepest part of this labyrinth. Please be careful, everyone. You know this floor like the back of your hand now. Yeah, I do. Anyway, uh, it's almost as if I've been... <laughs> of no one, not only is there a new uh, huh. request, there's also a bunch of new strolls. Soon. Well, there's something I'd like to speak to you about. Please take a seat. Oh. While I was out wander, I mean, investigating earlier, I watched... You are shocked there are more strolls. I say this knowing that it's rude I to mean, do it's so, another reason to encourage you to leave labyrinths, like, relatively often. Not only is it, like, your item carry limit being only 60, um, the fact that you have to heal at the end when you come back after a while, um... Getting new gear and stuff, fulfilling requests. It's just strolls just pop up after a certain amount of like either scripted or unique interaction events occur. That is why I have prepared a certain request for you. That's kind of why I'm like, I, I do all that I can unless I'm forced to go back because of my, a lack of inventory space. But, like, even though I knew a bunch of requests and stuff had happened, I still moved on to the next floor so that way when I went back in, we could just go to the new floor. Like, I could have kept going because I had enough item space, but I was like, new floor, go back, we do extra stuff, we go back to the main uh, dungeon floor. And that's the thing, we're probably not going to answer the final question. We're probably going to get to that room, activate the shortcut so that way I don't have to take the weird long route that you do the first time, and then go home, back out, do whatever's left, and then go back in there and you fight the boss. Because the first time you finish the questionnaire, you immediately are taken to the boss floor and fight the final boss. Or the boss of, not the final boss of this game, the boss of the labyrinth. Um, so. <laughs> yeah. I call it. Are you ready? Elizabeth's persona check! A round of applause, please! We're almost done with the game! Yeah, no. <laughs> the details are quite simple. We're almost two fifths. <laughs> All you must do for this request is fight me and emerge victorious. How about it? Why not use this opportunity? I say because I'm segregated by the dungeons that are in this game, not necessarily how long the dungeons are. This one is definitely a lot longer than the first one, but I wouldn't necessarily say lengthwise for story that finishing the first labyrinth would count as being one fifth of your playtime, just because the first labyrinth is only four floors. Uh, it depends on the reward. <laughs> I would never make such an oversight. I've prepared the rarest of rewards, the ability to fuse a new persona. Which I probably already can fuse, but I'm gonna fight you anyway. With this in your possession, you may create a certain unique persona through fusion. Fight me and acquire this persona, and you'll grow even stronger. I cannot tell you the details yet, but your development is an absolute must for my research. I've already written down the request. I'd be grateful if you could accept it. Yeah, she's just letting us know. Obtain a love potion. This quest is... Even with that said... That is why I require a potion crucial to the study of love. Yes, indeed, I request a love potion. But what? And here comes Teddy. Where? Oh. I've got something on my radar. 
when I, in my lust sensors picked up the word love potion and alerted me. Dressing tables scattered throughout the group date cafe, and among the myriad of little bottles all over those tables, it's about possible one may be a love potion. <laughs> Let's go! Okay, I need Teddy in the party for this. I will be counting on you. Can I delete Teddy this from the game? I don't think the game would operate if you remove any character data of Teddy. Especially if you're forced to use Teddy at any point in the game. <laughs> Such as this request. Are you sure you would like to accept this quest? Oh, I'm absolutely positive. It's time for your persona check. I must drive you to new heights for the sake of my research. That is why I wish for you to have a bout with me and win. Now, as for where we'll do this, may I borrow your map for a moment? I mean, I already know where she's going to write it down. Thank you. For the sake of everything. I'll mark it like that. Considering the times we live in, I've used disappearing ink. It's very eco-friendly. Please note it down for yourself later. I scouted it earlier, and it's spacious enough to host our bout. I ask that you fight me there. Since the power of bonds is part of your true strength, please feel free to bring your friends along. Okay. I will be waiting for you there. Okay. Alright, so we got those situated. But it is nine. We're at our... 99th hour. <laughs> you won't get to see a hundred until next time. <laughs> so you can still try this solo. <laughs> I don't know. Well, actually, because of my level, it's probably fine. Honestly. Genuinely. Can it count 100 or will it be stuck? Well, there wouldn't be a point of compounding the save data if it couldn't count to 100. Yeah, we've been playing this game for 12 hours now, which is still leaps and bounds faster than uh, <laughs> playing it the first time. But yes, this is where we will wrap up today's stream. So say goodbye to YouTube, everybody. Goodbye, YouTube. Goodbye.